Guys, it's about time to head into that final, final route to get my platinum. Jesus Christ. Whew. So we're right here at the edge of going into the route. Permanent route. So let's get this over with. He, he means so much to me. That we already saved. Yes. We're gonna save the world. I want to help save the world too. To be honest, I don't know if I'm up to it. Part of me doesn't want to deal with it. But after all I've been through, I can't just pretend like it's not my problem. I'm not about to leave things like this. I knew you'd say that, Takuma. Does that mean you'll go fight the Master with us? You better believe it. Now let's go back and fight with all our friends at our side. As long as we stick together, we've got nothing to fear. So I'm gonna help you, Miyuki. I'm glad to hear it. Thanks, Takuma. Together, I just know we'll find a way to protect both worlds. Yeah. So, what's our next step? It's easy, we jump into the white light and go back to our world, the other world. Isn't that right, Miki? That's right, we should all hold hands so we don't get separated. Okay, this we can all skip, this is all pretty much the same. I still think, like, the early section we can mostly skip. But I think once we reach the amusement park, uh, this is new. This is definitely new. Yeesh, this place sure is in the boonies. Not a single convenience store to be found. I can't believe we gotta live in a place like this. The city was so hectic, wasn't it? A place like this better for you, Mew. Weirdos won't bother you here, right? It's way safer. I've still got a stalker, you know. What do you mean? Someone else obsessed with you? Yeah, you, Kaido. Uh, say what? <laughs> your tongue's as sharp as ever, Miu. Don't worry, no matter what happens, I'll protect you, sis. I wonder what actually happened to Miu, why he's so overprotective. He really doesn't get it. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't even do... I didn't even do anything to lead him on or whatever. That stalker jerk's the worst. He says we're dating even after getting arrested. Dating? Talk about delusional. And yet, it seems like my parents kind of believe him. They look at me like I did something wrong. And even Kaito is clingier than usual. My parents, my brother. In the end, no one in my family believed me. This isn't just some jaunt to the countryside. This is exile. Okay, so that makes sense. I hate it. I hate everyone. I can't take it anymore. <sighs> I wish someone would set me free. Well... So that is Mew's backstory. Takuma! Wake up, Takuma! This is something we've already seen before. We already know all of this. This is not much different. I don't know how she does it, but it seems like her songs connect the two worlds. Connect the worlds? It seems that this world and our own affect each other somehow. The train caused a landslide in our world, then there was that of the cable car accident. Miki said that the worlds exist side by side. So you can open gates between them. Interesting. And it's all pointless bickering.
Now we gotta chat with everyone. Uh, we got five moves. And that doesn't really matter. Let's just start with... Minaroom. Uh... Okay. At this point, I'm not worried about my affinity with anyone anymore because we got all the evolutions except for one of Kaito's. But that one is unlocked on the Harmonious route. Oh, he's a wizard? Talk to the professor, I think. Or not. You must be looking at the wall murals. Thanks, Bon Shakamon. No worries. Hey, you guys in a hurry? If not, think we could chat for a bit? Sure. Oh, yeah, of course. What's up? It's about Mew. No, about her and her big brother. Their relationship is kind of twisted, don't you think? Especially his Kaido's attitude towards Mew. It's warped by his overprotectiveness. I can see that. There must be some reason behind it. Yeah. Still, those two are starting to change little by little. All the pain and fear of this world might have made them aware of the distance between them. That's good, isn't it? Sure, but the start of a change can be the most dangerous part. There's no telling where their relationship will end up when the dust settles from this. That's why I was hoping you'd keep an eye on those two. This is a chance for them to wipe the slate clean, so I'd hate to see it go to waste. Yeah, there should they should get along as long as they're together. I get what you're trying to say. It's just, why me? Me and Drakmon are too close to the issue. You're just far enough away. Takuma's good at getting along with everyone, isn't he? Really? You think so? Really, really, please, you gotta do it. Okay, you got it. I'll keep them in my thoughts, for whatever that's worth. Awesome. Thanks, Takuma. I mean it. <gasps> Was there a cutscene like that in the previous playthrough from... I'm not sure. I think there was, right? With Floramon, Mr. Drakmon and the others, has something happened? Man, you just can't relax for some reason. What are you all worked up about? I'm getting the heebie-jeebies uh, for some reason. You guys don't feel it? Not a thing. What about the rest of you? Yeah, you know, something doesn't feel right. I keep sensing something weird over by the shrine, but then it just vanishes. There's nothing there if we go and check it out. No enemy, no trace, nothing. Still, it just doesn't feel right. There might be something here. Be careful, Takuma. Yeah, I'll pay attention. Mm, I think that just gets us some evolution slates, if I remember correctly. Might as well go check, right? Now then, what to do? Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Hmm, maybe, I think. Could you be any vaguer? That fuzzy feeling's already gone, though. Ah, I got you. Still, we picked up a few things we can use. Call that a victory, right? Just you, Drakmon? Got something I gotta ask you, Takuma. Why'd you come back to this world anyhow? Uh, what do you mean? To 
protect you all. I want to protect everyone and not just my friends. This whole world and mine too. Is that right? Mm, is it wrong? Was that a weird thing to say? Nah, I was just thinking there's something different about you, man. Sure. I know I couldn't be any more different in the personality department. You got that right. Well, don't sweat it, it's alright. What was that about? Who cares? Go talk with Professor Zipofine. Uh, this should still be pretty much the same. Let's talk about the first level. And then we're skipping the rest because we've already spoken about all this in the first playthrough. Should be fine going into Warp Raymond first and then kill those two on the left. Easily. Right? Yeah. Boom. Depending on the setup of the field, sometimes it's just better to use Warp Raymond instead of. Bang, boom, boom. Not that it really matters a lot because we're really on the overpowered here, right? Um, this one is definitely stronger, though. The newest one is faster. Here to move over. Where the heck is that one going? Movement speed is not that much different between uh, Warp Raymon and Fang Wong Wong. Just a different type of device. I said this uh, already once before. Oh, wait, okay, no, we're fine, we're recording actually. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I said this once before in previous recordings that uh, I probably should have uh, saved Ryo and uh, Shuji the second playthrough. But it did, uh, I did have a lot of fun like figuring out how to deal with everything. 
even though I was a lot weaker than the main boss and everything else. Miyuki! We know that we know this so this doesn't change. I think from out this point we should be heading towards the amusement park. Which most of this should still be the same. Oh no, wait, actually something might change here. Um, yeah, for example, this one, this field where the... Damn, Biomon dies is going to be different. Because in the Wrathful Path, Mew... Not Mew. Aoi and Saki were here. Let's start with this one, right? Let's help the Patamon. That is still the same. Minoru, pretty much the same. We'll save them all. Aoi. This is also still the same from one of the other paths. Because you tell her here to focus on the tasks ahead. Oh, I forgot to search for one of the little guys. Which is here. Okay. Um Let's go talk to Saki and the professor first here. And Palmum. Mm, looks like she's still conscious. It's good, but she's wounded from head to toe. He's hurt, but it doesn't look too bad. You good? Can you get out of here? Shouldn't be a problem. Don't push yourself. Here, take this. It's just a hanky, but it'll make a tourniquet around I'll make a tourniquet around the wound so it won't open. Thanks, this is a big help. Here, take this. That is a different approach. We're gathering up all the injured. You should come with me. Okay, got it. This is terrible. I can't believe my eyes. Well, it's a getter, Saki. This is no time for us to be down in the dumps. Ah, <sighs> you've got a point. Uh, we don't have the luxury for sadness now. Still, don't think I'll let them get away with doing this to such sweet kids. Saki. Saki's pretty beat up about this. I don't blame her. She's right about all of them. She can't get caught up in her pain, though. The professor said it's bad for monsters. Cheer up a little bit. Feel your pain, Saki, but we have to keep going, Takuma. It'll be okay. We won't let anyone else die. We can save them all if we work together. You're right. Sorry to make you fuss over me. It's no place to grief. I'm all right now. Wasn't exactly fussing. Still, I hope she doesn't push herself too hard. I said before, I don't really care at the moment for the affinity. Yikes. Stop, let me go. Huh? Wait, aren't you Lady Mew's friends? Oh yeah, I remember you. Ah, I'm safe, what a relief. Gather the body injured, you should come too. Hmm, Professor, have you figured something out? It's just no enemies have come to attack us so far. Hope it keeps going that way. Okay, so what about it? 
Well, that means either they are already achieved their goal, or there aren't many. Their goal. I was thinking about that myself. Why did they attack this place? If the enemy's few in numbers, maybe we can work together to drive them off. So this is something that uh, like alludes to the truthful ending, because the reason they're here is because of the celestial monsters, celestial Digimon. I know, we gotta look for bad guys, but let's rescue the injured first. Yes, right. You are. My apologies. I too wish to save them. Let's do what we can for as many as we can. But yeah, that's the reason they're actually attacking this place. Which we don't know in the three regular routes. There must be more injured somewhere else. I need to look even harder. Suck to Mew. Hurry, Takuma, we gotta save them all right away. Rush at Mew, you gotta proceed with caution. I know that, but if we don't hurry, they'll all. Yeah, that was right, Mew's clearly panicking. We have to calm her down a bit. But well, we really do have to hurry here. I don't want to hamper Mew's momentum. Stop Mew, take a breath first. Now is not the time. Alright, now breathe in, breathe out. So calm down a little. Mm, yeah, sorry Takuma, I kind of freaked out there. Hey, I totally get it. It's just, if you panic and hurt, get hurt too, we'd all hate that. That's the right answer, apparently. You know, just how to handle her, Takuma. Hey, don't treat me like a kid. <laughs> come on, let's head out. Let's talk to Kaido. Careful now, I can't back you up right now if something goes down. Tough luck if any of you get hurt. Mew comes first, and that's fact. Them's the brakes, Takuma. Kaito's on edge, worrying about Mew. Of course I'm on edge. There ain't nothing about this situation that's safe. Ah, calm down, calm down, man. This will turn into fights at this rate. Still, I'm not surprised to see Kaito tense in a situation like this. Wonder how I can cool the temper here. Appreciate the concern, Kaido. Don't worry, I can take care of myself. Who said I'm concerned? I'm just telling you not to slow us down. What's that now? Come on, Kaido, no need to be shy. Trackman, don't poke the bear, you'll just make things worse. Huh. Well, anything... Well, anything could happen here, that's for sure. Gotta go all out for me, you... Gotta go all out for me, you here. Better get your ass in gear if you want to survive. I don't want to say things too loud yet. Oh no, she's in such bad shape. Wait, Mew, you shouldn't move her. Ah, Lady Mew. Hold on, we're here to rescue you. Can we do anything for injuries like this? I don't think so. Lady Mew, thank you so much for coming. Hurry, run away. What are you saying? You have to come with us. You, you should listen to her last words. Her last words? I am so happy I met you, lady. I don't believe it. <clears throat> don't cry, me, Kaido. You want to save the others, yeah? And there ain't no time to be blubbering now. The heck, Kaido? You can't be so harsh at it. No, he's right, Takuma. Thank you, Kaido. My eyes are wide open now. Yeah, you're right. You help out too. Let's save as many of these little ones as we can. Got it. Two are somehow getting through to each other. Somehow. Definitely somehow. Someone there? This feeling. Hey, Mew, look. Takamon? Lady Mew? And Shakamon! But thank the stars I'm saved. You're alright now. Ah, you must look painful. You should come with us. Have we finished checking this area for now? Yes, sir. All the injured around here have been rounded up. Guardians are moving them outside of the park where no enemies can be found. The ones hurt badly are being carried by the others that can move. 
I'm glad to hear so many of them made it out okay. Okay then, time to beat some sense into those. No, we're gonna save Gigi Mon so we can talk to him. She's right, information is our top priority. Of course, we'll save any injured we find. More than anything, we need to find a way to save Miyuki. So Gigi Mon's in the throne room, right? Yep, we found another way in, so let's go. Go, go! Now we can head into the throne room. Let's go save Gigi Mon. Okay, this is all the same. Bear it up, Shinmadinis. Stingamawingies. She responded. Um, she responded to the professor's voice. If we keep calling to her, then maybe, maybe when exactly? And what happens if the, a crisis comes calling on this world? Right, we don't have enough time to take the slow and steady path. True, we lack concrete solution to this quandary. I wish I could be of more help to you, all of you. Ugh. There's no way to save Miyuki. I bet I have a real awful look on my face right about now. The others seem very down. Kaido looks uncharacteristically bummed out. Guess he actually had his hope up, hopes up. Still, the situation really is hopeless. We can save Miyuki, much less the world. Takuma! Whoa, what's that noise? Takuma, it's the enemy! This feeling, no doubt about it, we've got the Kensuke situation here. It's coming, everyone away from the doors! Damn, the entire door went down with the barricade. You're kidding? What are we gonna do, Takuma? There's nowhere left for us to run to. Do we face them head on? They broke that barricade like tissue paper. It could be another considerable force. It's uncertain that we could beat them head on. We have to find some way to tear in the tables, otherwise we're done for. Way to escape, hmm, if I remember correctly. Okay, so... Yeah, okay, that makes sense. The trap door works. This is the trap door path. So even if... Um, Last time we did the trapdoor path, we were with Ryo and Shuki, Shuji, and everyone survived. So, we can think of things over later. For now, we've got to bust those through these invaders. Come on, Drakmon. She's really putting me through the ringer over here, ain't ya? K Kaido? Wait, Kaido! Oh no, there he goes. Not the safe time to venture out on your own. Oh, come on, you can at least wait until I'm done remembering. Fine, I guess I'm going too. We'll cover for my moron of a brother. Okay, so he doesn't go into the trap door route because Ryo and Shuji aren't here. We better hurry if we're gonna catch up to them. Let's go, Mew. Uh -huh. Hey, wait, Mew. Mew's heading straight for the danger. Huh? Yeah, Saki, what is it? Save me! Someone's calling for help! Huh, yeah, you're right. They don't seem that far away, but... Oh no. There's still more injured around here? Probably, yeah, this is bad. We have to go rescue them. They could die if we don't do something. I'm gonna go. Wait, Saki, I'll go with you. S saki I couldn't stop her. Come on, what are we doing here? We can't split up like teenagers in a horror movie. <laughs> Smooth. Why is everyone being so careless at such a dangerous time? Hey, cool it, Aoi. No need for us to get panicked, too. Yes, yes, you're right. I'm sorry, I must stay calm. What to do, what to do? Let's handle one thing at a time. Then we'll meet up and run from the fog. Yes, one at a time. Kaido and Miu are fighting the enemy, so... Okay, I know. How about this? Minoru Falcon, will you two secure our escape route? What? I mean, sure, but why us? Falcon is always calm and collected. You two can definitely handle this. Yes, indeed. Two heads are better than one, especially when beating a hasty retreat. Oh, I get it. That's an important job. I'm actually kind of nervous. Right, we'll take care of the escape route. Let's roll, Falcon. Yes, an important roll, indeed. I swear we shall see it through. Takuma, would you go? Would you and Agumon go provide backup for Saki and me? Once we save the the ones who can escape, I'll go protect the escape route with Minoru. 
Yeah, you could be right. Okay, I'll follow her. We're not alone if we work together, huh? Gigi Moon, why'd you grab my hand like that? I know I don't have the right to say this, but please. Save our world. I know it's shown you all nothing but suffering. But this is still our home, so please, I beg you. Gigi Moon. No idea what we're supposed to do, even so. I understand. Leave it this to us. Thank you. Hurry, Takuma! You got it. Agumon, Jijimon, let's go. Okay, so for in the previous, in the Wrathful route, we actually go f and save Miu and uh, Kaito first. The fog is getting thicker. Damn, we don't have much time left. There she is, Saki! Hey, you guys. You can't just run off on your own. It's too risky around here. I'm sorry. But I figured out where the voices were coming from. Over there. Help! <laughs> there are a bunch of them there. Apatamon's leading them. We knew this many were left. This is bad. We gotta save them. We can't spend too much time here. You get that, right? Sure. None of this matters if the fog gets to us. The only reason I survived being swallowed up by the fog was because Miyuki was there. Now that she's on the uh, on the enemy's side, there won't be a second miracle like that. That'll spell the end. I want to save as many lives as I can, so come on, Takuma. I hear you. We'll smack these guys around and save the others. We actually gotta protect... Pinky. Um. One extra. We actually gotta protect those guys. Uh, didn't anticipate that. But I don't think I have to worry too much. Unless they can get what one shot, obviously. Awesome Quake. I wonder if that's a new one. Attack Charge Plus. One thing's for sure, though, this is a new battle setting. Saki's still a little bit low level though, compared to the others, so it makes sense that we uh, can't insta kill yet. Spiral Twister! Shuto! Fucker dead. That's what we like to see. charge. Let's see, can I get to... No, I can't get to... Him Okay then, let's get out of here. We'll meet up with Minoru and Fokumon. Nice victory. Clean and easy. 
Awesome Quake, Deck Charge, Stamina Crystals. I'm still missing one specific, uh... Minoru, are you okay? That is my line. Although, all of you got ten fingers and ten toes. For sure. Sorry if we worried you. Did we go a little too far, maybe? Thank you, truly, thank you. No one would have blamed you for abandoning them. I couldn't have line lived with myself. I'm just glad we've got to save everyone. Let's save the chit chat for later. The fog is getting way thicker here. We have to escape soon, Minoru. Have Kaido and the others left already? Oh, yeah, not yet. They're still fighting? Don't they realize the fog's coming? Even if they did, I imagine they can't exactly get away. We gotta do something more, those guys. It's not even a question. We'll go and save them. Still, all of us can't go at once. Someone's got to protect Gigi and the others. Of course, whoever goes faces the most risk. I can't say that. I can't ask that of anyone else. I'll go. Will they object, I wonder? What could I say to make them understand? I'll go look for those two. You'll come too, right, Unchu Agamon? You know it. Let's go already. Just the two of you alone? As if I'm going too. Yeah, we've come this far. I'll stick with you to the end. No, I need you to protect everyone escaping. The fewer people to go, the better. But man, don't worry. I'll protect Takuma. Listen, we are gods. We are the strongest. Okay, we'll escort everyone out of here. Are you sure, Aoi? Takuma will be fine. I'm sure. We'll just have to wait for them to return. Get you acting all cool. And here I get so much crap when I go off on my own. I mean, you guys are weak, and I am a god, so... <laughs> you better promise, you hear? Bring those two knuckleheads back with you. Yeah, I promise. Well then, everyone, let us take refu refu refuge... We must join up with the other evacuees. Evacuees? Evacuees? Takuma, Agumon, take care of yourselves. We'll be A-OK. -okay. You better do the same. The fuck is thick here. There can't be much time left. Kaido, Mew, please be OK. OK, so I expect not the same kind of death for Mew as happened for Saki. If anything, I think... Uh, Kaido, I'm telling you, we can't beat these numbers. Yeah, this isn't the hill for us to die on. We can't handle these on our own. Quiet! This place. It's crazy important to you, ain't it? What? Still good, Dragmon? Of course, I can keep going. Well, let's do this. We'll send all the Kenzoku around here flying. Hey, wait. This is too much. I'm telling you. Just stay behind me, Mew. If any of these punks want to mess with you, I'll annihilate them. I'll keep you alive, Mew. No, no, Kaido, I don't want you to. And this is where it goes wrong, because... Mew, enemies behind us, huh? Oh, really? I don't think so. What, Mew? Drachmon, can you help Mew? Not yet, there's still too many. Damn, you... Damn you all! let you get away get in my way blah blah English hard Shit, I'm going to fail to protect her again damn punks I don't want to hurt me there's only one person that it could be what the Kaito, you alright? Takuma? Wait, so that must have been... Ta-da! It's me! <laughs> Whoa! Thanks, Agumon, you're the best! You wanna save her, don't you, Kaito? I'll help. Sorry, man. Hey, don't sweat it. But let's get out of here after we take care of the enemies, okay? Yeah. Uh, is there a chest here? Agumon dies. Yeah, it's because I'm gonna go mega here. There is a chest here. Good to know. Okay, um... I'm going War Grey Moon so that we can go two in one hit. Can I... Speed 
and efficiency. Oh, you bloody wanker. That's cheating. So can we hit that? Damn it, Safari Moon is really bad. It's just because everyone is still below our strongest Megas. Which is really pissing me off. Actually, that's bad, yo. Um, as you go more power. The Digimon Sovereigns are one cool bunch of Digimon, though, I'm not gonna lie. is going after me. Is this pointless? Am I powerless to even save those two on my own? No, I don't think so. We'll definitely save Mew. Never again. We'll never lose another friend. We can't let that happen. Yeah, yeah, what you said, Takuma. Agumon, we're gonna... We're gonna protect our friends. If we're gonna save your world and mine, I need your help. We'll show them. Show them how determined we are. Yeah. You're right, Takuma, we can't afford to lose, no matter what. Together, the strength of our feelings will resonate and... What is this? My body? My body is... Agumon? Something's strange, Takuma, it's like there's a fire in my belly. There's a shiver going through my whole body. Your feelings are flowing through me, Takuma. Wait, is this evolution? Agumon evolved to... We already know what it looks like, but... <laughs> we get to see it again. <laughs> Dino Rex! Incredible, so much power. Agumon, that's form. Whew, I thought I was gonna die. You've evolved in response to my desire to protect them? Yeah, I'm ready to go. This form is up to the task. Come on, let's do it. I'll protect anything and anyone you want me to, Takuma. I do like this form, though. It's just not as good as... Like, War Greymon, for example. slower. It does have more physical attack. But we're going over to uh, uh, I can't really make much headway though. So oh, okay. we're just killing this with a 9,999 crit. Azulomon should be fine with killing things. Can't say the same for Kaido's Bielzumon though. But I do think that's partly my fault for not putting items on him. put items on them probably be a little bit in better shape I, I still can hit the motherfucker 
Oh yeah, sure, now spawn in more enemies. What a bunch of big ones. I know I'm way faster than you guys. to get both of them. That would be very nice, actually. Yep. hurt are you? No, I'm alright. Boy, that was scary. I'm so sorry I got caught up in the fight that got separated. I failed you as your brother. That's why back then I couldn't. Seriously, you never really see me. You always push me behind you and show your back to me. Never turn my way. You depends on you, you know. So you see, you actually gotta hear her out, not just keep her out of harm's way. Okay, big bro? Yeah, big bro. I had no idea. You're just a dummy. Sorry, Mew. I guess I never had it in me to really think about what you wanted then. Yes, great. Now into... This is a pretty picture, but look around. It's about to get ugly here. The fog is creeping closer. Yeah, so time to go. The others have already evacuated. We're the only ones left. We should try and catch up. The one? So all the others are safe, really? Saki and Aoi did everything they could. We'll have to thank them too, right Mew? Yeah, let's go. And... No, 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 no! No, 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 no. Mew's gonna fall for it. Oh, no. Huh? Help me, me, help me. I just heard a voice. Someone's still here. Didn't hear anything. Sure you didn't imagine it? No, I heard it, I swear, over there. Mew, hey, come back. You know you can't just run off on your own. You guys can't hear it, can you? That means I gotta lead the way. You don't have time for side trip. You know what it means when the fog gets thicker. Of course I know. That doesn't mean I can't just abandon them. It was the queen here for a little while, you know? These guys are like family to me. I won't abandon them. Not ever. I never let them experience such sadness. Wait, Mew, I'll go with you. Hey, hold on. I said it's... Wait, hold up. Is this what she's talking about when she goes off on me? I mean, it's not like you're wrong, Kaido. Yeah, it's way too dangerous to go out alone in a time like this. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Come on, man. We gotta go after her. Yeah. Help me. She's tricked. Don't worry, your queen is here to save you. Hey, Mew, you find them already? Yeah, over here, Kaido. Yeah, you found me all right. Hmm? Grabs. Nope. Fucked. Is that an enemy? Is this a trick? Yep. The creature in the front of Mew turned into fog. Mew! Oh no, Kaido, Shakamon, neither of them can reach her in time. Yeah, this is way worse. Kaido! Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay, so Saki's death was terrible, but this is even... This is... Oh, uh, no way. Fox swallowed her up. Wait, Mew, I'm... Um, my, my legs. Kaido, what's wrong? What, what am I hesitating for? I've got to go save her. 
No, Kaido, you'll get sucked up into the fog too. Shut up, let me go. I, I Mio, I'll be there. It's too late. Shakumon? It's disappearing, just like what happened back with Yurio. Yeah, that's how it goes. Sorry, Miu, everyone. I couldn't protect her, my precious. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, that sucks. Shakumon, no! It can't be! What happened to Miu? Answer me! The only reason I survived being swallowed up by the folk was because Miyuki was there. Miu was swallowed up and Shakumon vanished. That can only mean... Shit! No, don't go, Kaido. Let go of me. She's... she's gone. Don't you get it, man? Mew's gone. You don't know that. I can't... I can't... can't believe that. She could still be alive, just like that time with you. Let go of me, damn it! let go! Dragmon, Agmon, we need to get Kaido out of here. But, but Takuma, this rate everyone will get sucked up by the folk. I won't let that happen. Yeah, I can't let Kaido die too. Let's go, Kaido. I'll get you out of here. If I, I'll get you out of here if I have to drag you myself. Shit. Oh. I'm gonna say it again. I said it with freaking uh, Saki's death. But Ryo's and Shuji's death did not hit as hard in the fucking guts as that for Miu or for Saki. Amusement park. It's gone. Miu. Miu. Like. Like, they intentionally, like, made Ryo and Shuji, like, go down a drain to where Shuji, you just didn't like him at that point, and Ryo was, like, just messed up in the head, losing it. So it's, you didn't actually get the chance to, like, understand them, get what they're going through before they die, right? But with Miu and with Saki and then both having uh, Kaito and Aoi being the way they... Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <clears throat> the entire amusement park has been consumed by the folk. There's nothing there. No one. Miu's gone. I'm ta Takuma, I don't see Miu here. What, what does... She got swallowed up by the fog. No, no, you couldn't save her? I'm sorry, I lost my head. I certainly understand how you feel, you know, you meant no harm. Yeah, it's not your fault, Saki. You ain't even wrong. Kaido? I hesitate to jump into the fog. Why did I do that? Takuma made it back, so Mew could have done the same. My legs froze for just a moment. It's just like Miu said, I wasn't thinking about protecting her at all. Did I just want to swing my fist? And my frustration? High on my own strength? It's not fair to you. I mean, I understand how you feel, but... I'm gonna listen to you now. But Drakmon, leave him alone. Nothing you say now is gonna reach him. Kaido. Only I had the power to kill them all. Power that let me do anything for you. Should be alive right now. I've hesitated or nothing. Power, I. I. Shit. But that was re like. <laughs> hell that almost went exactly like with Saki yeah it wasn't the same okay that was the same at least damn hey hey Takuma where are you Takuma's looking for me but I can't exactly respond at a time like this.
Minarun, Aoi. Everyone's so quiet, it's hard to find the right words to say here. It's only natural. I mean, what is there to say at a time like this? Damn it! Why did this have to happen? Mew. 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 Kaido hasn't cried at all. If anything, that only makes it worse somehow. But things can't stay this way, not if we're going to make it through this. And Kaido? It's no use, he won't even look at me. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Pardon me, human children. I realize this is a difficult time, but might I speak with you? Jijimon. Please, could you guys listen to him? He said there was something he had to tell us. On behalf of all the other residents, I wish to express our deepest gratitude. Please accept my most heartfelt apology for your loss. Don't, don't apologize, Jijimon. It wasn't your fault. None of us blame you. Or any of the others from the amusement park for what happened. Listen, everyone, I think we need to stay focused on what lies ahead. Now more than ever, we need to make it out of this place alive to honor Mew's sacrifice. She's right, I'm torn apart by all this, but that's why we have to fight on. The inconsolable grief of ours could be just a weak spot our enemy takes advantage of. Wow, talk about foreshadowing, Falcomon! Jesus Christ! <laughs> it's exactly what they do in the library, obviously. A calm assessment of our situation clearly indicates that we should focus on the future. Yeah, you're right, we can't just sit around crying our eyes out forever. Just like Aoi says, if Mew was still with us, I'm sure she'd want us to shut your trap. Okay, that is where Kaido fucking flips out. Go making up f Mew's feelings on your own, damn it. Honor Mew's sacrifice if Mew was alive? What the hell do you know about her? Hey, Kaido, man, we didn't mean to... Heard enough. Wait, Kaido! Kaido. Hold up, Kaito! Kaito! What do you want? No one's trying to hurt you here, Kaido. You get how you feel all too well. It goes without saying, everyone is sad about losing Mew. Shut up. It's just like with Ryo and Shuji, we're all sad, but that's why we have to... Shut your freaking face. If it hadn't been for you guys, if all of you had taken that fight seriously, you wouldn't have gotten separated like that. Wait, what? Niki, this... Stragglers that blah 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 is because all that crap Mew That kind of weak Mew, That kind weak Mew ended up in the enemy's crosshair. That's not fair, man Is it you should have known the weak never last long I could have told you as much That's why I need to be strong. I need to protect her, but I failed if only I've been stronger It's like he blames himself as much as he blames us We'd work as a team. We would we have been able to save Mew? No. It's because Mew ran off, then turned her back on the enemy. That's why they lost. Secondly, they didn't. Well, maybe if they instantly just uh, ran after her, maybe then. But they were slow on pace. Is Kaito really that far off the mark? Or is it actually our fault? No, he's... He's pretty uh, off the mark, honestly, but... In some sense, he's right. He might be right, Kaido. Maybe this wouldn't have happened if we had worked together more. But that's all the more reason we need to come together right now. Don't you see that? Shut your mouth. Don't you dare treat me like a memory. Kaito. Why did Mew, of all people, have to suffer for all of this? It's none of us. If n none of us are to blame and she's not to, to blame, then why is she the one that had to go? You can't just brush this off with some empty words. I bet you don't even care. That's not true, Kaido. Dragon. Followed us here? Useless idiot. Whoa, Kaido, that's not cool at all. 
It is what it is. I couldn't protect what was most important to him. Kaido, I get that you can't accept any of this, but that's the only way to move on. Mew is gone. Shut up. Just leave me alone. Kaido, where are you going? Hold up, Takuma. You should leave him alone. He's in no mood to listen to anything you got to say. Drachman. He'll be back as soon as he's cooled his head. I'll keep an eye on him. Yeah, okay then. You should help Agumon out back there, alright? Something wrong with him? You kidding? You hear him hollering back there with the kids? I pitied the guy. Oh, that's right. Those kids Jigimon was looking after when we escaped the castle. Once we've taken care of them since we're all down in the dumps. But looks like everyone else is pitching in too. One's been going on all cylinders, so you should give him a break. Good point. Thanks, Drakmon. Yeah, yeah. Peace out. Really hope Kaito can manage to turn things around. The answer is no! <laughs> And uh, this is where I'm gonna say I kind of feel bad that I got that spoiler to me. But yeah, just like with Aoi, this is not gonna go much better. At least we can get some... Um, what do you call it? I don't know! Some more personality traits in, which I find interesting. Like always. Okay, we're just gonna move through this. Easy peasy. Seven moves. I'm still sweating like a motherfucking doghouse here. <laughs> Should I talk to Agumon? Yeah, we're talking to Agumon. I don't remember if it was this one or the other one. Hey, Takuma, there's something I've been meaning to ask you for a while. What's the most important thing to you? World peace! At this point, it doesn't really matter what we use for uh, answers. Already said that, but it's even more true now. Let's see, is Agumon here? These are most likely just battles, right? One is a shadow. One is an item. I don't remember which part it was, but there was a part where we could find a... something interesting key item-wise. don't think it's this one. Okay, we're just gonna move through this. Uh, let's talk to Aoi and Labramon. She looks kind of tired. No fucking shit, mate. Hey, Aoi. Notice you Christ crouched down over here. What's up? Checking on our food stores. After all, we just picked up a lot more mouths to feed. Ah, Aoi, you're working again? Of course. It's no time to be resting, Saki. I'm telling her to take a breather myself, but it didn't work. I have a solid grasp of her current situation, she says, and won't rest. Saki Takuma, you've got to say something. Labramon, I'm fine. I don't need to take a break right now. But you've been running yourself ragged doing all this leader stuff. Well, what am I? What else am I supposed to do? We're in trouble? I need to stay on top of things. That doesn't mean you can't take a break, Aoi. His face is super serious. Given we have no idea what's coming down the line, there is no such thing as too worried. Still, there's one thing I've learned in time in the time we've spent together. How he gets like this when fatigue and anxiety has caught up to her. I wish she'd slow her roll here before she gets too carried away. Uh I wanna see what the answers here are. I know telling her we're counting on you is something that makes uh is good for Aoi. Alright, but take a break before you knock yourself out, okay? You're putting her to work? I don't think anything I say will get through to her when she's like this. It's not like Aoi doesn't know her own limits. In worst case scenario, Lovermoon's here with her. It'll be fine. 
Jeez, and here I hoped you would stop her. Fine then, I'll stick with her. Let's wrap this up as soon as we can. Huh. Better take a break before you wear yourself out, you hear me? Okay, that was the wrong answer. Haste makes waste. Well, that might actually be a good one. Don't think I read that one correctly last time. They say haste makes waste, Aoi. You really think you can get a grasp of our situation if you tire yourself out? That's an interesting way to put it. I get the impulse to do something, but that's all the more reason to catch your breath. A cool head will let you work smarter, not just harder. That's what I'm talking about, Takuma. You're great at getting her to see things our way. <laughs> oh, uh, you think so? I agree. That's one argument I can't refute. I'm sorry. I was rushing off ahead again. Her expression relaxed a bit. Glad to see it. Wait, can I talk to Labramon? No. Did we just do... Yeah, we did the check in the cafeteria with Agumon. There's Saki. Should I talk to her? Always talk to Saki. You're looking kind of grim, Saki. Takuma, I'm scared. Things are only going to get da more dangerous, aren't they? I couldn't get hurt or even die. Don't worry, we'll protect everyone. No, things are dangerous here, but don't forget about us. Akumon, Flormon. Thank you. I believe in you both. But I still can't get over my own weakness. Saki seems to be considering her next course of action way more seriously than usual. That's why she's overthinking and getting herself all worked up. Still, I want to support what she's trying to do, encourage the way she's thinking now. Uh, what did I say to her last? Why am I actually going out to... Let's see, I think I've said this one before. And she liked that, yeah. I don't really need to worry too much about the dialogues anymore. Like, the profiles are pretty fine, and the fact that... You really feel ass about me, though. That's why I'm not good with these kind of games. Already did this one as well. Go step by step. Yeah, that one is just fairly the same as uh, in the previous playthrough. Kaito, um, Kaito. This as well is completely the same. Except switch rolls. Leave me alone. No. Sorry, but I can't do that. I'm worried about you, Kaito. I want to know how you feel. I feel sad and hurt by all this myself. But if you let this pain take hold, you'll be in danger yourself. I said, leave me alone, damn it! <laughs> Yo, Kaido, you're going too far. Sorry, Kaido. But I just can't leave you like this. You must realize how dangerous it is if you can't pull yourself together, right? And not just the danger of enemy attacks. You remember what happened to Shuji and Lokmon. So what the hell am I supposed to do? You all talk big, but where were you when Miu needed you? Oh, boo-hoo, too bad, so sad. Don't try and sweep this under the rug with your pity. What? Well, but I wasn't... Alright, got it, man. Sorry. Oh, he says, makes sense. At this rate, Kaito is in danger for sure. Still, he's not ready to listen to you. Kaito. Big brother with anger issues.
I keep saying this as well, that I feel kind of bad that I... T well, at one point I feel kind of bad, on the other side I feel kind of happy that I started with the moral route instead of with the other two, because I think I would have fucking cried my eyes out if I didn't actually already know what was going to happen. Inner stories all excite me somehow. Oh, it's the same one. I'll pass. No kid stuff for me. Why not listen a bit? Let's see, improve affinity. I do have an excellent memory though, that I can still answer the questions correctly. Oh, this one is new actually, because Saki usually dead here. Uh, I mean, what? <laughs> In the other playthrough, in the other route. Yeah, basically, being cooped up indoors all the time gets me feeling down, you know? Hey, why don't you ask Takuma what he does when he needs to clear his head? Oh, good idea. Any tips, Takuma? What? You mean right now? Hmm, I wonder. No point in mentioning methods that can't be used in this world. What can I suggest for shaking the coat webs out? Good scream. I like that. A good scream. Good scream? Scream about what? Think anything's okay, just let her rip. But making a bunch of noise to do good. So good. Guess not. Pretty interesting answer considering we ask you randomly like that. Yeah, I'm surprised. I'll try your idea next time. Next time? Not now. If I do it now, it might scare the little ones, you know. If I get the chance to head to the beach or something, I'll give it a shot then. She seems a bit happier than before. That's good. I saw the professor heading that way earlier. I think he left the school. He did? Must be looking into something again. Maybe he's just taking a breather like me. Everyone needs some alone time, right? You got that right. Thanks anyway. Gotta go with our daily professor talk again. Do we actually go do our daily professor talk again? No. Wait, I'm missing... Uh, we talked to Minoru. Can we do two chats? Uh, maybe in the bush bush. Bushes mon, bushes mon. Nothing here, but that does mean... I think that is the power-up thing, right? From... Maybe not. Maybe I'm just... Um, there's something here. I can feel it. Please no fight. I'm not looking for a fight. Uh, what, what did I do last time? Look all over the place, who knows what we'll find? Oh, hey. Something in the glass. Let's check it out. One, two. Oh, it's you guys. Now I remember what I did. Let's just do the first one first. Not sure if this is Gomamon or anyone else. Uh, it is Gomamon. Uh, we do not want to fucking have to do a fight, force battle. I'm just not in the mood for that. I got way too many extra Gomamon, by the way. Look, got like four. Uh. And we still got a Petamon here. And a Gazimon. 
What do you want from me? Shit. Kaido. I'm gonna ask you to be here. Back off. You ain't gonna do that. I said back off! Or what? You'll direct your abusive language at him too? I got that right. What the? Haru? Still alive, huh? Where the heck have you been? It doesn't matter. What matters is you, Kaido. Don't you want to get revenge on the master? What? Haru? The heck are you? You hate the master, don't you? He stole your precious sister from you, didn't he? Then come with me. I'll teach you a way to get what you want. Revenge? Me? Yeah, that's right. The master took you from you. Kaido, no, you can't go, Kaido. Damn it. Okay, so that's a different approach. Who's that? Huh? I see someone leaving. Is that Kaido? Not just Kaido, Drachmu and Haru? Wait, Aoi, you can't go off on your own. Oh, but look, Haru's alive. Something's off. Drachmon's freaking out and Haru's looking kind of suspicious. I don't like this. If we're gonna go after them, we should get the others. You're right. We better keep cool. Let's tell everyone. So now we're going into the library, right? And the last time I went into- the first time I went into the library, I could technically skip most of the battles and instantly talk to the professor. But this time, the last time we did the wrath, the wrathful route, we needed to find everyone first. So I'm kind of curious. Sorry for the wait. Hold up. Where's Aoi and Kaido? I haven't seen either of them. Or where they went. I don't know about Aoi, but the way Kaido was acting, maybe I should leave him be. It's dangerous for him to leave on his own, though who knows what's out there. Getting everyone to go might be asking too much, but should I ask anyway? Leave him to everyone. Search for both. You better get everyone up first, or nothing will get done. I'll go look for those two. Everyone wait here. Everyone, thank goodness you're here. Please, come to the forest. Are we Labramon? Great, we're just about to go looking for you. Good timing for us, too. You see, it's about Kaido. Kaido, did something happen? Kaido and Brockmon went off with Haru. Haru? That's little Squirt's life? Yes, but something seems off about him. He's just different somehow. Not only that, Kaito and Drachmon went deep into the woods with them. Now, hold on a minute, Aoi. You're telling me those two went into the woods? Yes, from where I was standing, they headed east of here. East? That's in the direction of the library. Wait, that's bad, isn't it? The library? New building that popped up in the woods. The professor discovered it earlier. We don't know a thing about that place yet. If they went that direction, this is bad. <laughs> If it really just popped up, that the master servants might check it out themselves. That's worse than bad. Kaido's totally off his game right now. We had better go to their aid for certain, and as soon as possible. Yeah, we can't leave him all to his own devices right now. Let's go, everybody. Everybody. Man, what's with this place? It's pretty far from the school, you know? Hey, Haru, what's the deal here? Haru? He's gone. Well, hey, Kaido, Haru's up and vanished, man. Who cares? Who cares? He says... This is where we need to be, isn't it? So let's go. Hey, wait up, Kaido! Kaito? Kaido. It's actually Kaito, I think. Man, it's as silent as the grave in here. No sign of anyone. We should turn back. I've had a bad feeling about this place since we set foot in here. We should head back to the others, don't you think, Kaido? Kaito? Revenge. If there's something here that can get me revenge, then I'm not leaving without it. Get real, you think you'll find anything in a shady place like this? It smells like freaking trap. You feel me, man? Kaito. What? No, it can't be. Kaito... Mew? Mew, it's you! You're alive? No, 
I'm dead. Huh? I want to live. I want to go home. But now it's too late. I can never go back to our world. Nye? You always said you'd protect me, Kaido. You promised to keep me safe. So why? Why did you turn your back on me? I didn't, I swear. I never turned my back on you. I did everything I could to save you. That's a lie. A lie. And you're a liar. Liar, liar, liar. I saw you hesitate. You hesitated instead of jumping into the fog after me. What? I was being devoured by the fog and you hesitated. All you cared about is yourself. That's why you left me to die. No, it wasn't like that, please. Just let me explain. Nyu. Nyu. It didn't matter to you. I was just an excuse to fight. No. No, it wasn't like that. You gotta understand. Nyu, I... Wait. Maybe you are right. Facts are facts. I couldn't save you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Nyu. Just gotta forgive me. It's not fair, Kaido. Why are you the only one who gets to go home? You're right. It's not fair, is it? I don't blame you for thinking like that. What? Slow up, Kaido. That's some messed up reasoning there. I know this is a vision. It ain't the first one we've dealt with, after all. Someone's showing us new to trick us. Don't fall for it, Kaido. You promised to protect me, didn't you, big brother? If you really meant it, then come with me. This way, Kaido. Follow me. Wait, Mew. You shouldn't go off on your own. Stay with me. Stay with your brother. Stop, Kaido. Don't do it. Don't you try and stop me. Think it through. Mew is dead, man. You can't follow where she's going. Don't you see, Kaido? I just gotta go. I can't let her be alone. Not anymore. I need to keep my promise. Kaido! Kaido! Kaito! Kaito! I need a room where I can scream my lungs out for these kind of scenes. Professor, you're sure this is the way? Indeed, I see no reason to doubt myself. That ain't a straight answer. The building may not be in sight yet, but this is the right direction. It's not far. I couldn't... It couldn't have just disappeared or something, right? The Kaito. Hmm? Oh dear. What is it? Can you see the library? No, but I'm afraid a different... Different sort of danger has crossed our path. Renamon. Renamon. Hey, we actually did get a new skill. That's nice. We just need... Need five more. And still one key item where I have no clue of searching. Renamon? Renamon's glaring at the professor. Is that anger? Did you come all this way to see us? Or are you visiting the library for her? Miyuki. Silence, you have no right to speak that name. So I suspect that you bear animosity towards me. Animosity? What for? I have no obligation to answer that question. You will become master sacrifices. Our kidding one said before, human children aren't as valuable as a maiden, but they are good for something. Still, we won't hand over our friends for that. I don't know what you're planning, but you ain't getting any sacrifice from us. No way. <clears throat> the smallest wretch always howled the loudest. How dare you? What is it, Renamon? Didn't you want to save Miyuki? We're on the same side here. That's why we should... Don't you feel like a Bayan? Don't feel like a Bayan. Fine by me. I'll drag you back kicking and screaming then. Renamon! Blinded by fury! Don't tell me, Renamon's. You on your guard, everyone. Here it comes. Renamon! Evolve to. Uh, 
Auto battle. I'm just gonna put this on real quick. Ugh. I'm gonna go grab E3. Honestly, I'm kind of, I'll keep repeating it over and over again. I'm kind of sad that I never, that I can't 100% this. Well, I can, but I'm not willing to sit through the story one more time. Especially if the game isn't going to give me any tips on finding all the items that I'm still looking for. I bet at some point we'll give, someone will get a very detailed guide for it, but just not that willing to wait or to make the guy myself. Like, it has given me an eye-opener, though, for how I should probably do these kind of things differently. Even though that I wouldn't have had all Agumon's evolutions. Don't you talk like you know everything. I promised to protect her, and I'm the only one who can save her. But don't we all want the same thing? Not Haru, not Takuma, not any of you. I all save Miyuki. Me. Renamon. This is the same dialogue, but I can't skip through it. I'll tell you all something. I know where your friend is. A friend? You don't mean... You're talking about Kaito, aren't you? Come to the library if you want to save him. Oh, and... Get ready to atone for your sins. Don't come, and they're dead. Kaito and Drachman both. So you know what to do. Kaito, so he's been caught? Then... But if that's true, where's Haru? Something doesn't add up here. I bet it's a bluff or something. Alas, but that didn't sound like bluster to my ears. If he's been captured, why haven't they turned him into a sacrifice already? I bet they're trying to lure Aoi and the others to get more sacrifices. So, like, it's a total... It's totally a trap. Even so, we gotta do what we gotta do. Yeah, we gotta save those guys. Let's go. I believe the library should come into view a bit further ahead. So this is what I find funny, right? Or funny. Wait, where was I going with this? I've completely lost my train of thought here. Uh, interesting. What the fuck was I saying? Or what was I gonna say? This, this is the library that appeared. Hey, isn't there something weird about this? Yeah, buildings like the apartments and the school have all been run down. This building looks like it's been built pretty recently, though. So this is what you meant by clearly distinct, Professor. Yes, I'm afraid so. This must have been manufactured from memories recently taken from humans. Memories? So what about the old school building and the amusement park? The, are they memories too? Imagine they are the memories of someone who was taken previously. My sister, most likely. The apartments must have been... I'm not entirely sure, but never mind about that. You've got to get out of here. Those guys could be in trouble while we're standing around. Oops. Yeah, you're right. Let's go inside. Shit, I hate that when, my, when I just instantly lose my train of thought.
Whoa, it's so dark in here. It was so bright out there in the woods, my eyes aren't used to this yet. This air feels cold, and the odor... dust, maybe? <sighs> okay, my vision suggested. Okay, so are we actually going to see... Last time Kaito was with us when we were in here, so this library is totally different from the other place up till now. Kinda eerie, to be honest. No, okay, so we don't get a dialogue with, uh, uh, not Aoi, but with, uh, Saki here. But the last time, I'm pretty sure we ran into Aoi and Saki at the same time, and they were in one spot. So that would make sense. Wait, wait, what? Those two? How could they be here? What is Dagamon? Come on, man, that's pretty harsh reaction. Or can we skip this? No, apparently not. That voice? No, it can't be. Hey, guys, what took you so long? Yeah, what's wrong with you guys? You get sidetracked somewhere? Ryo, Shuchi? That's mean of you, Takuma. You act like you've seen a couple of ghosts. We've been waiting around here for what feels like forever. That's impossible. I mean, you two were... Swallowed by the fog? Yes, all of us got separated. Anyway, don't worry. From here on out, we'll always be with you. That's right, we'll never leave your sides. Since you two will end up just like us. Ah, look out, everyone! Hey, man, who's everyone? Huh? T -t Takuma, everyone else is gone! He's, he's right. But when? Not only that, the door won't budge. We can't even get back outside. Like fish in a barrel, you guys are. Wh what? No need to be so scared. You'll see each other soon again, in the end. Yeah, we're all meeting our makers here. Don't be a crybaby about it. What? What are you guys talking about? That's definitely not what it said, but I just made that up. Look, our deaths were our own fault. We were weak, we admit that. But that wasn't the only reason we died. It was also because you abandoned us. You probably forgot all about it in your struggles to survive. Forgot abandoning us. And after all that talk of everyone going home together makes made me sick just hearing it. Guess Shuji and me were never part of that group, huh? Everyone didn't include us. That's not true. We all felt terrible after losing you. Still, that's no reason for us to give up and live in. That's okay, you don't need to make excuses, we're not here for your apologies. That's right, after all, talk is- If you really are sorry about what happened, there's only one thing for you to do. Prove with actions, not words. How are we supposed to do that? Come with us, Takuma. We're friends, aren't we? We'll always be together, right? I deserve them both, is that really true? If I want to apologize for that, do I have to become like them? Really? Okay, so I remember what I was talking about. Um, I don't... I'm not sure if in the moral route, uh, Renamon actually says that, but in the wrathful route, she says that what they show us is like... Uh, what she showed us is like the our doubts in our hearts currently. So whether we save them or not, if we are the ones to blame for not being able to save them, that's true, then I... Takuma, no! You'll come with us, won't you? You owe us that much, Takuma. Hurry up, yo. You got a date with the fog. Takuma, don't go. Wake up. What? What was I doing just now? Was that some sort of illusion? Oh good, Takuma, you're back to normal. Thanks, Akumon. That was a close one. Wait, was that Renamon's trap? I think so. I saw them too. Ryo and Shuji, but like scary versions. But more importantly, one thing's still the same. Everyone's gone. Seriously? Is Renamon behind this too? We should look for them, right? They could be in the same situation we were in. Huh. Yeah, that's true. We can't leave them to their own devices. Let's hurry, Takuma. Takuma. Bookshelves, far bookshelves, free battle. Yeah, we're going to the reception, because that's most likely where Saki is, yeah.
Saki, there you are. Takuma, I, I can't move. Well, where are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. Not like that, but I feel just awful. I saw visions of Shuji and Ryo. Uh, was close to them both, and I was so happy when I thought they were still alive. But I felt them. I felt them both. Don't cry, Saki. Being so hard on yourself won't make anything better. Something seems off about this. I'm not sure what it is, but I can't... But something feels wrong here. But this time, actually, Florimon is there. Hey, come here a sec, would you talk about? Lend me your hand. You're always such a downer, Saki. Well, how rude. Can I get down out sometimes? I just saw Shuji and Ryo, you know. They were all... Join us in the fog and stuff. Seeing Saki depressed, she wasn't as pessimistic as all this. You're being too... We are too, Florimon. You two are acting more like how we in Labramon. Hey, that's not... You guys look like Saki and Floramon, but you're acting more like Aoi and Labramon. Oh, now I remember. You, you're not Saki and Floramon, are you? You're just illusions too. Well, he figured it out. I thought we were doing such a good job too. Let's kill him! Yeah, let's take him out. Send back Takuma, here they come. And now I remember. Yeah, that uh, fits the bill a bit more. Uh, you and you. Yeah, that's the doomsday plan that I remember. I don't think I have to worry about the chests, right? I mean, technically I don't have to worry about chests at all because we're not gonna do that. But this is just my insights being like, we need 100%. <laughs> Always the same shit with Yordi's brain. Platinum is never good. Always have to be a hundred percent. Well, ain't that shit. That was a close one. It's a good thing you saw through them. If I hadn't, I don't want to think about it, to be honest. Let's look for the real deals, Takuma. Yeah, we gotta rescue them soon. They must be experiencing something pretty awful. There, Takuma, under the desk! You're right. Hey, wake up, you two! You two okay? Just messing up the lines again. <clears throat> huh? What have we been doing this whole time? Saki, Florimon, is it really you? Takuma, what happened? Uh, what kind of freak show would show me a vision like that? Those two must have seen something awful, just like how I saw Ryo and Shuji. You shouldn't move around too much. I'll go look for the others. Yeah, I'm not sure I could get up if I wanted to right now. Takuma, Agumon, sorry. Please take care of them. Leave it to me. You two just rest, okay? I've always wondered, like, what if I got shown an illusion like that? Would I have responded in the same way? It's Minoru! Okay, that's at least the same. We don't have... we can skip through this one. Gotta murder. Gotta murder them all. Evolution. Uh, 
of thinking, can I do a double kill here? I doubt it, right? Oh, no, we can. Nice. That's what he really likes to see. Double kill. Uh, move. Seven stars. Right. Okay, let's see what's left. Paris Molden medium. Poisoned, so it will die next turn, most likely. Yep. Or on his turn, the start of his turn. Phew, you guys suck. Let's see if I can hit both the chest and. Oh, let me just go I'm not gonna waste another turn. Find Minerun and uh, Falcomon. Yeah, I just remembered something. This is must be where Aoi is. Aoi, you okay? Takuma, I'm so glad you're okay. Something happened to you, I, I just don't know what I do. Isn't this great, Aoi? That's my line, I'm just glad you're okay. But yes, come on. I was uh, so over here. Huh? Hide? What's wrong? We're standing in this corner, no one can see us from the entrance. We'll be fine here if the enemy comes. So, hey, come on. Pretty please? But we have to go see how everyone else is doing, don't we? All of them can take care of themselves. Now, come here already. This is weird. I can't imagine Aoi not worrying about the others. Takuma, isn't Aoi acting weird? I think so too. Um, yeah, she's usually much kinder than this, isn't she? SQ! What are you guys saying? How rude can you get? Aoi's Aoi. You two are the worst. What a couple of doubting Thomases. <sighs> Let's go find the others. No. Why not? I mean, if all of you are together... How am I supposed to ambush you? Ah, stand back, Takuma. Thought so. You're not the real Aoi and Labramon. SQ, you call me a Bakamon, but aren't you the bigger Bakamon? Let's see, is there a chest here that I can open that has something useful or new? Yordi, why are you thinking about it? Because I can't not think about it. You know what? We're just gonna not take the bait. We're just gonna go war great and destroy them. They just want to bait me. I still wanna hug that doggy. They need to get yourself uh, Labramon as a Digimon SQ. Ah, oh, he was a fake. It's good that we noticed. Good looking out there, Agumon. Hehe, <laughs> glad to help. But then, where's the real Aoi? They might be around here somewhere. Let's look a little longer. I have my Baka moments. Ugh. Hmm? Ah, here, Takuma, I found Aoi. Agumon? Oh, and Takuma? Wait, Labramon? Where's Labramon? I'm here, Aoi. I'm fine. Just saw a nasty vision, that's all. So glad you're okay, Labramon. Oh, where are the others? Are they safe? Yep, this is a genuine article, all right. Yeah, that's the sweet Aoi we know. Huh? Oh, what's this all about? Leave the others to me, okay? You don't go... You don't look so good, Aoi. Take a load off, okay? But... No, you're right. 
I just hold you back. We'll follow you when Aoi's recovered her strength. Take care of everyone until then. We're on this. Let's go, Takuma. Should I talk to Agumon about what to do next? Yeah, usually when this happens, we instantly go to uh, the professor. This isn't going too well, is it? Well, cheer up, Takuma. We can just look somewhere else. That's what I thought last time. Oh, here they are. There's Kaito, but he's looking a bit strange. Ah! Kaito, oh no, if this keeps up, there will be no turning back. Something's off with those two. Are they being shown sworn some sort of illusion like we were? Ah! Uh, Takuma, the enemy's here. You have to protect Kaito. We're doomed this, Agumon. We got this. Mm, this seems good enough. One, two. At least we can check this chest without too much issue because we can't kill everything in one go, anyways. What a great moment. Fantastic, call me fantastic. Evolution. Zukaidomon. It's not Zukaidomon, it's just Zukai. Zukao. Zukai? Who fucking cares at this point anyway? Chest burn! Hey, we got restore again. Whoopty. Fucking do. Anubis move. These are nuts move. Sounds like a good name, right, guys? Uh, I'll get it in a bit because I have to clean a few glasses before I can get uh, new. Chalky Milk SQ. My glasses are all filthy. I'll do it when we go into a big battle and I can just put on the uh, auto. We're nearing a big battle soon, so... Yeah, SQ, that's fine. Okay, good. Pull yourself together, Kaito. Snap out of it. Huh? Ta Takuma? Ooh, awesome. We got him out of that delusion. But you saw Vision too, huh? I saw Miu. She told me her big, bro big brother couldn't protect her. It's not true, Kaito. I know someone's messing with me. I won't forgive anyone taking her shape. Not a freaking chance. You gotta look, gotta look for the others. Yeah, uh, that was the plan. If you're worn out, you take a break here. Nah, I'll go. Good drug moon. You know it. Pretty peeved off myself. Let's go. We'll help out if there's a fight. Right. Kaito, is he okay? I hope he doesn't push himself too hard. At least he's doing slightly better than Aoi was doing during all of that. Uh, 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 the professor. Is he seeing some sort of illusion? No, no, I, I didn't. I didn't abandon her. Professor, come on, snap out of it. <laughs> You're drenched in sweat, Professor. Are you okay? I'm, I'm alright. I just lost my head for a moment there. Saw an illusion, although the subject of said illusion seemed quite deliberate. Instead of an illusion, I'd say it was something crafted with intention. Perhaps to harm me or weaken me? Drive me into a corner without breaking me. Think that I'd, I would be shown such a thing as well. 
could this what could the reason be? The professor seems composed, but a bit frail too. He must be exhausted. Is he pondering this to calm himself down? Or is it all thinking making things worse? Hmm. Maybe I should stop him. Tell him to chill. Professor, chill out, dude! Take a breather, Professor. You'll just tire yourself out thinking about this non-stop. Ah, you are right. Uh, pardon my outburst. The words have put me at ease, Hakuma. As an adult, I feel a bit ashamed to rely on you. Come on, don't say that. We all lose our heads for ta from time to time. You saw your own illusion, didn't you? You're a strong kid, Takuma. That's why we are the MVP and why we can solo everything. Takuma, I know I've mentioned it before about Miyuki being my sister and Haru taking on my appearance in my youth. I deemed this information unnecessary for returning to our world. Rather, I felt it too burdensome of a truth for you all. And this void is the subject, Chichimon said it himself. The calling out to Miki is a stopgap between measures best. Sooner or later, we'll have to defeat her. If that's true, then the knowledge that their siblings would cause everyone to hesitate. Still, my assumption may have been misguided. Renamon's hatred and the alliance with the Master may be related to my past. Miyuki is the key to saving everything, then my circumstances are of no consequence. That is why, if we get out of this library safely, I want to tell everyone everything. About me, my sister, everything from the very beginning. Professor, you've remembered then? Yes, indeed I have. You have my thanks for keeping... Well, I don't understand. You have my thanks for keeping mom up to now. I do not know, I don't understand this line. This is the second time I, like, hit this line up and I, like, just cannot brain myself over it. Either this is some dialogue error or a uh, typo somewhere, but uh, honestly, I don't know. Sorry for putting you in that position. But first, we must get everyone back to base in one piece, alright? We know where everyone is. All we have to do now is escape together. Escape! Takuma! Hey, Aoi. Are you alright? Yes, I've rested enough. Thanks for snapping me out of that nasty vision. Glad we could help. I'm relieved to know everyone's safe. What should we do now? Let's join up with the others. We'll break a window or door and escape this place. You can't go looking around while we're caught in the trap. We have to get out of here first. You humans really think you can escape that way? Renamon. Renamon. An ambush, is it? No point in capturing you if you if we let you just run off now, is there? Mm, stop putting up this pointless resistance and give yourself up to be sacrificed. Hold up, Renamon. Tell us what you're really after, Minoru. I assume your goal is saving Miyuki. Seeing her possessed like this must feel dreadful. So then why do you conspire with the Master? Is her rescue not your heart's desire? As all of you... All of you say the same things over and over. I'm sick of watching your gums flap. I'll say this much. I admire your persistence. All I do is to save Miyuki. Save Miyuki? You mean you get her back from the Master? So you intend to have these children take her place, do you? Take her place? You mean swap Miyuki for all these guys? The Master desires sacrifices. The Maiden isn't enough. First, the Master will consume sacrifice to expand his world. I will follow the Master's wishes, deliver you, and get and getting Miyuki back from my efforts. There's no way the Master will relinquish the Maiden. You are being deceived. So am I supposed to sit by and watch as Miyuki, my fated child, perishes? Fated child, then that means Miyuki is the same to you as Takuma is to me? She is. A few decades earlier, in the time of your world, many children had wandered into this world just as you have. Among them were two siblings, Miyuki and Akiharu Minase. Akiharu Minase. Miyuki's brother, Akiharu? Wait, you mean Haru? That was you, Professor Minase, or should I say Haru? Whoa, 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 then that means Miyuki is the Professor's sister? No matter how differently, time flows between our worlds. That's too big of an age gap. Miyuki is special. She has been shunted out of the flow of time. Miyuki is a Minase maiden. She can control the song that connects worlds. Using that power, that mysterious song, Miyuki sent you back to your world, Akiharu. 
So this is the second time the professor has been in this world. Precisely. The vision I saw here caught me as March Renamon. The block in my memory is the fear that hits the truth. That awful dream blew it away. I... I left me here and returned to my world. Then I repressed the fear I felt in this world deep in my memories. While letting you escape, Miyuki was taken over by the Master and lost half of her soul. That meant, even after I convinced the others to rescue her, she was no longer herself. Because of your self-centered need to protect yourself, Miyuki was stuck in this world. She was possessed by the Master, losing the ability to age or even feel emotion. You shamelessly returned to your world, Haru, and abandoned Miyuki here. Her heart was broken. She was hurt so badly, all just to save you. And yet, even after all that, she still waited for her brother. Ha! Ah. She believed her brother would come for her. If she didn't, her heart would truly break. That's why I took on this form, the way you looked when you were, were by her side. I maintained your appearance for ages. As you aged into this senile old coot, I saved her, protected her on my own. I'm sorry, Renamon. My sins are heavy. Too heavy to atone for, I fear. Yes, an irredeemable sin that leads to death. You all will become the master sacrifices. Now hold on, these children have nothing to do with this. Not true. They are all I have to trade in in order to get Miyuki back. I do not seek revenge, but for me to achieve my goal, all of you must die. If you had any idea how humiliating it was for me to remain in your form, then you know how firm my resolve is. Sorry to say it, but we can't just lay down and let ourselves become sacrifices, Saki. We don't want our friends to die either. I want to live together with Floramon. I can tell how much you've suffered. If it were me, I don't think I could take it. Still, I'm not letting my precious Saki get taken away from me for that. Renamon, I can't imagine the Master even ever letting the Maiden go. Our sacrifice is really the best way to get Miyuki back. If you really want her back, we should call out to her together. Our voices can get through to her, so please, Renamon. Shut up. Renamon. I won't accept this. Your voice could reach her, but not mine. Just shut up and sacrifice yourselves for her already. That's the only way you can atone. Say what? K Kaido? Doing it for her? Sacrifices? Figured I'd wait and listen. But you just go on and on. I'll teach you just how evil your crimes are, stealing people for your own goals. Go drag and kill that jerk. No helping it now. Alright, you got it. Hey, stop it, Kaido. You can't just jump in on your own. Let's go too. We'll back him up. I wonder if Renamon actually dies here, instead of her coming along. Because Kaido is fucking pissed off. I won't... I doubt she, uh, that he's gonna let her go, even if she starts seeing the faults of everything. <sighs> oh well. Once I can turn the auto battle on, I'm gonna do some uh, real quick clean one glass and go grab the chalky milk. Um, I'm gonna pick a few of the low bees because why the fuck not? I want to get everyone to higher levels, the standard ones, instead of the free ones. Auto battle full of power. Here we go. Clean glass.
The Chucky Mill has been acquired. This is one of the few things that uh, that makes this game actually a lot better because we can skip through everything. The heck are you guys doing? Rip that guy's shreds already. Calm down, Kaido. If we don't keep our cool, we'll lose the battle. We can uh, we'll lose the battles. We can actually win. Don't you dare act all level-headed. I bet you don't even give a damn about this, Kaido. I'll avenge me by sending all the bastards that took her away straight to hell. The anger is insane, yo. Uh, what was I saying again? Yeah, this is the one thing that I really, really like about the game. Especially if you need to do multiple playthroughs, and sometimes you just cannot be arsed to do everything manually. But that you can turn the dialogue on auto, and the fact that we can just, like, sit here and do nothing while the AI just cleans house. All, all you just gotta do is make sure that your characters are slightly stronger. In this case, they're a lot stronger. <laughs> like, you can say whatever you want, but they're only level 46 and I'm like, in level 81. say that Kaido was still kind of sane, but let's be real here, Kaito is not sane whatsoever. If anything, Kaito is fucking enraged. We've won, Renamon. Not yet, I can still... Ugh. Stop. We're begging you, you can't take anymore. I am not defeated. Defeated? I will save her no matter what. Zip it. All that's left is to finish you off. Please wait, Kaido. Out of the way. Your anger is completely justified, just please hear me. If only for a moment. Please what now? Stop it, Kaido. The battle is clearly over. We don't need to continue this cycle of hurting and being hurt. I get it. You are the same, Kaito. Renamal, I know you share a powerful bond with Miyuki, and I have no intention of taking her away from you. <laughs> you lie. You already abandoned her. No reason to lie, and I'm grateful to you. You've suffered a great deal, I can see that. I see what pain my existence has caused you. Hate me if you must, but I want us to work together. If you continue to trust what the Master told you, it will only prolong your suffering, prolong my... I do not wish any further anguish upon you, you or Miyuki. That's why I told you not to talk to her. There is no guarantee the Master will keep his word. I'm sure you realize this. Still, you clung to the promise because you had no other choice, isn't that right? But the Master has been the one threatening Miyuki from the very beginning. And if she learns that you were suffering due to the Master's treachery, the one who would be hurt by this the most is Miyuki, isn't that right? Let's take her back, Renamon. Save Miyuki, my sister, from the Master's clutches. Let's accomplish today what we should have done 50 years ago. Haru. I... I... I knew it would come to this. Who's there? It's Miyuki! A heart that yearns is a heart that betrays. You remain not but an impotent beast. Miyuki, no master. This isn't what it looks like. Look, all those servants standing behind Miyuki. Just punishment for foolish traitors. Traitor! We've seen this one already a billion times as well. Miyuki, are you still in there? Miyuki! Do not mistake this for the time you spent at her side. The maiden soul sleeps within me. Your voice shall not reach her no matter how hard you try. 
What then you your promise? Why must I heed the words of some craven beast? You really did trick me. Don't listen to him, Renamon. Muki responded to the professor's voice in the castle. Her heart is still nearby. Ah, Muki, my faded child, please hear my voice. Uh, what? <clears throat> Rena Namon Haru? Miyuki! Miyuki! <laughs> a useless effort. The maiden is already under my control. Shut up! Miyuki isn't just a thing you can possess. Her smile, her song, her kind heart. You can just treat all of them like your toys. Let her go! What? What's happening? That's it. Renamon's Renamon transform her feelings into power. Renamon Warp Digivolve 2! So yesterday I played with a cat for 30 minutes, so my anger meter went a little down, but I still hate everything. That means you need to play with the cats more often, uh, SQ. As much until you decide to stop hating everything. Sakuyamon! Ah. Okay, I'm sitting here anyway, so I'm gonna take control of this battle and just wipe the floor with everyone. Obviously, we're not gonna use Drachmon here, because he's fucking crazy in the head. Evolution, evolution. Is that the, the one, one and only Seppi Lep Ding, Ding Dong? It's Seppi! Hi, Sepp. How has your Monday been going so far? Free day in Poland today, so it's good. Hell yeah, that's what we like to hear. Barely tempted it. Evolution Anubis Moon. can't hit it from here, so I guess I'm just moving forward. Can't hit that one either, or the other two. So we're moving forward. Forward's mod! right now it I do hear thunder emerald the seal oh that green bird survives if I hit him on the shield. Even more cringe. SQ likes thunder, apparently. 
Ask you, do you like thunder? damage here, am I? Lightning and thunder! Nice. I am gonna close my windows and doors in a bit. Because uh, I don't want lightning or thunder to just storm into my room. Like it's no business whatsoever. the sea. Face, aren't we? Yeah. Do you know what thunder is? Thunder is other than, you know, thunder, sound, claps in the wind, something, something. What type of ending are we going for now? The last ending. The harmony ending. It's over. SQ, did you just say when clouds have a meeting and get into a sword fight? Typical SQ. She never stops to uh, make me laugh sometimes with her things. No, wait! Stop! Give her back! He's going to get away. No, Miyuki. We couldn't get her back. But now we know that Miki is still inside there somewhere. Our words, our voices, they really do reach her. My voice got through to her. Yes, my voice too. Renamon, I'm sorry. You suffer so much because of me. But thank you. Thank you for staying by my sister's side, Haru. Miyuki isn't like other humans. She has special power. Mid power of the maiden. As yeah, she wields the power, instead of becoming a sacrifice, the power to open the door between worlds. That is why the master is obsessed with her. So what's the master's true goal? Why does he want to use her power to open the door? Revenge. He plans to launch an attack on the human world. What? His goal may be linked to this world becoming engulfed in fog and starting to fall apart. And if we don't stop the master, us getting stuck here isn't the worst of it. Right, you are. Both worlds will end up enveloped by the fog. I want to rescue Miyuki from the master. Then we share the same goal, Renamon. Digimon said we have no choice but to defeat Miyuki in the end. I know he did, but I want us to keep looking for a way to save her until the very end. Yeah, I mean, we know for a fact that our voices can reach her now, right? We all saw it back there, so we should keep letting her know how we feel. If we keep calling out to her, and that helps Miki regain control of herself, yeah, let's do everything we can. Rescuing her would be the be a happier ending for everyone, you guys. You can lean on us, you know. You were one of us as Haru for a bit there. Come with us, Redmoon. 
We'll save both Miyuki and this world together. Mess here in a cloud summons the force. <laughs> that bit says Q. <laughs> but in the meantime, Kaido has already left. And let's all should head back to the school and regain our strength. I want to see how those little terrorists are doing too. Uh, just a minute. Where's Kaido and Drekmon? They were around here just a second ago. Huh? What the heck? Kaido? Kaido disappeared on us in a situation like this. It's about well, does it? She's right. I don't like this at all. Kaido, can you hear me? Answer us. Kaido? Drekmon, where are you? You know where he could have gone, Renamon? Um, I'm afraid not, sorry. I admit I'm the one who brought him here. Showed him his vision. There's a hint in that vision. What did you show him? I don't know for sure. I can make an educated guess, but vision changes depending on what's in the viewer's heart. It's based on the most painful memory they have. I tempted Kaito here with the promise of revenge, so the vision he saw was probably... No doubt about it, it had to be about Miu. We don't, if we don't do something, that guy's heart will be taken over by thoughts of revenge. The master could have taken, could take advantage of that. Heck, Drakmon could be in danger before that. True, Drakmon could evolve into a foul beast just like Lapmon did. Lapmon did. Lapmon? Let's spill up and look for Kaido. If we don't hurry, we could be too late. If we don't hurry, yeah. too late. Yeah, I gotta remember to go and look for the bunch of garbage. Makes me sick. That bastard showed me the worst thing he could. Still, he thought me something good. Something good. Revenge, of course. Kaido, man, what are you thinking? You know the answer, don't you? You and me were bonded by fate after all, ain't we, Kaido? That bastard who stole Mew, those jerks who couldn't save her. It's all their fault, and it's my job to show them who's to blame. Don't you worry, Mew. I'll show them. They'll all pay for making, making you suffer. I'll kill them, all of them, with my own two hands. <laughs> Is rain just like cloud tears? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> How was my uh, evil, my manical, my manical, man oh my god, I can Maybe I should just start or stop talking whatsoever, you know? Ah! <laughs> Don't test me, I told you not to come anywhere near me. I'm not letting your filthy hands anywhere near her. Stop it, Kaido, enough already, you'll get yourself killed. You'll get yourself killed? Ugh. Why did she stop me that time? Why protect her stalker? It's obviously a bad person. Did she think the police were gonna help? Did any adults come to defend her? No, nobody did. It was only me to protect her. So why did Miu and our parents give me weird looks about it afterwards? Why? Did they prefer to see Miu to see me beat up and moved in tears. That creep followed her around, waited for her, spread rumors they were dating. I wasn't about to let him mess up Miu's life. I had to kick his ass. It was the right thing to do. Well, by the looks of it, you almost beat him to death, yo. The, that's not a uh, kick his ass. No, you almost killed his ass. Well, this really is the sticks. There's not even a convenience store. Having to live here is gonna suck. The city was so loud, though. You'll be much happier here, Mew. No worrying about creeps out here. It looked unsatisfied, but it seemed like our parents made the right call. No creeps would lay a hand on Mew out here. Finally, a chance to live in peace, or so we thought. Once it was raining on my birthday and my brain went, whoa, the clouds are still crying on my birth. Last ending, which is good ending. Did I hear that correct? No, there's, that's not a good ending. The good ending we've already done. 
which is uh, the truthful ending. That's the good ending, except. People from the city are weird. We're not weird. Calling us weird is weird. Hey, what are you wearing? Let me see it. Huh? No, don't touch me. Oh, sorry. Ah! Made her cry. Big city kids are the worst. No, we're not. Don't say that. Mew's saying weird things again. It's probably an evil curse or something. Come on, everyone knows stuff like that's not real. She's just a weirdo. Shh, she can hear you. So what? You can't blame me for calling a weirdo weird. I don't care if she can hear me. Mew is weird. A big, dumb weirdo. Shut up. Uh, what's your deal? Why'd you do that? Mew was shunned here too. She was afraid of others. What happened with the stalker left her scarred. She fought back against their teasing because she was scared they wouldn't stop. It was her fault? She never asked to be stalked. Why does everything bad get dumped on her? Stop it. I have to protect Miu. No one else will. We'll just hurt her. Right then. Are you okay, Miu? I'll take care of anyone who hurts you. Just watch. You just want an excuse to be violent. Uh, why can I see her face? Why? I'm not the one in the wrong here. No one else could have protected her, just me. Mew. Wasn't your second playthrough when everyone survived? Yeah. Ah? Where's your master? I have no idea, for real. Huh. Ah! Still no answers, but no need to hurt someone who doesn't want to fight. If you have a problem, then say it to my face. Well, I don't have a problem, not at all. Drachman was the only one who stuck with me. He is gone. I don't want to be around the ones who are left. Mew was the only reason I was able to put up with them. If they knew I was punching friends and foes alike, they'd probably get mad. Too bad for them. If they blame me, they're the problem. I'll destroy anyone who dares to live carefree in a world without Mew. Anyone who doesn't help me and Mew is my enemy. Mom Drachman. Okay, where to next? Yeah, that is the best ending. This isn't good, Takuma. Kaido still hasn't come back. Hmm, I wonder where he went. Can't believe I didn't notice they were gone sooner. If I keep an eye out, this never would have happened. Where are you, Kaido? You disappear like that? Maybe the bad guys got a hold of him? Don't say that, Saki. Sorry have to consider the possibility that something bad happened. I mean, the last thing I want is for him to die, but still, it's my fault for showing him that vision. He's gone because of me. Sorry, Haru, I mean, Renamon. Why are you in that form anyway? You know who you really are now, you don't have to keep pretending to be him. I've been in this form for so long, it's just started to feel natural. There's also the way Miyuki looks at me when I'm in this form. Just want to have her back at my side so badly. Do you mind though, Professor? Uh, if that's how you prefer to be, then I don't mind one bit. We understand how you feel, Renamon. Sorry to rewind, rewind the conversation, but what about Kaido? I hounded you guys with those visions as part of the deal with the Master. I was trying to scare you so you'd be swallowed up by the fog. There must be some memory in Kaido's vision that was too hard for him to face. So he ran off because he couldn't deal with it? Whatever the memory was, it must have been something about Mew. In that case, we are truly in a pickle. When someone acts with intention, it is possible to deduce where they may have gone. But if he acted on impulse, there is no telling where Kaito might be now. Gosh, what should we do? I'm sorry for making this happen, I'll take all the blame. Hey, <laughs> you believed it would help Miyuki. I can understand that. I might do the same if I thought it would help Aoi. Right, anyway, now is not the time for finger pointing. What do you think we should do, Takuma? Mm, well, what are our options? We could look for him, or forge ahead, but we hardly have time for both. What do you mean by forge ahead? I mean prioritize escaping with those of us left. The first step is rescue Miyuki. As harsh as it sounds, that would also mean giving up on the search of for Kaido. What? We can't just do that. I thought he was one of us, our friend. We have to find him and go back together, right? Right, everyone? 
It's hard for me to say, Aoi, but I don't think I can disagree with what the professor is saying. You too, Saki. I want Kaito to be safe. I want all of us to make it back home together. But it's hard to imagine that Kaito wants the same for us. Uh, we should at least consider the professor's suggestion instead of rejecting it outright. But I can't accept the idea of just giving up on Kaito. I just can't. I see where both of them are coming from. They want to prevent further loss of life. And I don't want to abandon Kaito either myself. Hang on a sec. You think of a solution? Not exactly, but Drachmon disappeared with Kaido, right? At least Drachmon is keeping him safe, as always. True, otherwise he wouldn't be he would have abandoned Kaido. Otherwise he would have abandoned Kaido like what I did that time. Hmm. You might be right. So we can at least assume he's still alive. I'm more worried about Drachmon changing forms. If Kaito is mentally unstable, I mean, he could transform into something bad and attack Kaito. And after Kaito, who do you think would be next? Us. So that's why the professor wants to leave so badly. He and Saki just don't want any more of us to die, probably. So we should find Kaito quickly to prevent a negative transformation? Yeah, that makes sense. I think we should listen to Agumon. Now it's not the time to abandon Kaito. Folk taking over places, new buildings appearing, this world's changing fast. We don't know what will happen next, so I can understand why the professor is worried. We should prioritize safety and promise to meet at the school if anything happens. Sounds good to me. I don't want to give up on him either. I understand and I respect your opinions, so of course I'll do what I can to help. Right. If it's possible to get Kaido back safely, then we have to try. We will find you, Kaido, I promise. We don't have much time. We have to hurry and find Kaito. Free action! Okay, let's see, how much time do we have? Eight moves for exactly four people. Arun. Professor Renamon, you're gonna go look for Kaido and Drachmon? Yes, exactly. I must take action to make up for what I did. I'll find him if it's the last thing I do. Renamon. Earlier you were overwhelmed or regressed, but now you seem done with all that. It's really impressive, Renamon. I'll try to follow his example and set aside my own concerns. Your concerns about what? Regarding our discussion earlier. I have to apologize, I was rather cold in what I said. Oh. Honestly surprised, suggesting we should abandon Kaido. It's definitely not safe to keep looking for him between enemies in the fog. But... Did the professor just say that because he wants to save his own skin? I don't want to even consider that. Uh, doubtful, honestly. Considering where we are at right now, I think you were just being realistic. We don't want to abandon Kaito. We made it this far together, but it's all for nothing if we lose anyone else. I see. Your strong sense of justice may be just what's needed in this cruel world. No matter how you look at it, simply surviving is not enough. We also have to figure out how to help Miyuki and bring her back. Between finding Kaito and saving Miyuki, we've got our work cut out for us. And there is no time to waste on either task. We just have to make it work somehow. Oh, that reminds me, Takuma. I found this over there. I feel, f I feel you should keep it. Sincerity lemons. Okay. Um. Awin Labramon. That's gonna be a new dialogue, though. Most likely. Well, most likely, most definitely. Takuma, me and Labramon are gonna go check the shrine. Okay, Aoi, don't forget to take some water with you. Huh? Oh, sorry. Don't rush too much, Aoi, or you might get careless. I know, I know. I just can't help getting a little anxious. It's just that every minute, every second we waste is gone forever. Usually I tell Aoi to stop worrying so much, but this time I know exactly how it feels. If something happens to Kaido while we were hanging around doing nothing... Damn it, we need to calm ourselves down somehow. Jesus. Breathing was hard for a second there. Imagine the worst will only lead to mistakes. We've gotta get it together. Prepare ourselves. We have to be prepared for anything and everything, are we? What? But we can't just abandon. That's not what I meant. Look, just hear me out. I'm um, sure. It sucks, but there's only so much we can do. 
Like, we can't just wave one and see everywhere on the island at once, right? What we can do is search for them the best of to our, of our ability. So let's do what we can as well as we can, one thing at a time, and stay calm. We need to prepare ourselves to work so hard that we won't regret anything. It's our only choice. Keeping that in mind might calm us down a little. First try, first right answer! Let's go! I see what you mean. I definitely don't want to have any regrets. We have to use our, every ounce of our energy to make it back together. So take some water with you. Let's stay focused and not panic, okay? Got it. Let's do this. Let's do this! Saki, has she figured out where Kaido wins, I wonder? Ah, Takuma, I wanted to talk to you about our last conversation. I hope you didn't get the wrong impression about that one. You mean how you agreed with the professor? Yeah, I didn't want to just leave Kaido behind, I promise. I just, I really... What is it, Saki? Struggling for words. Usually she speaks her mind without hesitation. Whatever's on her mind must be hard for her to say. She'd probably feel more at ease if I understood how she was feeling. Okay, these answers are kind of weird. I don't know how to choose one here. Everyone here. Kaito and Grekmoon. Kaito and everyone. I know you're super worried about Kaito and Drekmoon, and all of us. But instead of getting carried away with your emotions, you're trying to be realistic. You spoke your mind because you want as many of us as possible, to be, as possible to be safe. I respect that, honestly, and I understand how you feel. Oh, I'm so good. I'm so good. Oh, Takuma, thank you. I'm glad you understand. I was so worried that no one would get where I was coming from. Looks like they understand after all, Saki, and that's the thing that she hates the most. Being hated by everyone, even though she's so nice. The last thing we need right now is more arguing with each other. And um, Takuma, there's no trace of Kaito and Dragon that's all around here. So I'm thinking of putting these legs to use and going to check in the mountains. Got it. If you find anything, report back ASAP. Um, talk to Falcon on the, um, Minoru. Why can I never remember his name? Minoru. It's such a unique name as well. Like, I can't remember it. Takuma, Agumon, found Kaido yet? Kaito? Not Kaido. Kaido is in One Piece and is dead, I think. Not yet. I wonder where he went off to. Have you had any luck? Nope, not at all. We were busy just trying to save our own skin with the illusions at the library. We can't blame ourselves for losing track of what was going on. True, losing Mew must be hitting Kaido harder than any of us too. No shit, it's his little sister. Also wish I'd paid more attention and said something. So I'm relieved that we haven't given up the search. It's like me and Minoru are on the same page then. We relied on him a lot, for a lot, you know. It's hard to imagine moving on without him. Not just him, if we lose even more of our crew, he's got a point. There's no doubt Kaito was hit hardest by the loss of Mew, but that doesn't mean the rest of us have had it easy, and now Kaito's in danger too. We've been in survival mode so long, I wonder Minoru's feeling anxious. I try and console him? I wish I could make him feel better somehow. Uh... uh this one is just gonna be random. How you feel? We're all struggling here. Yeah, at this point we just gotta try to prevent the worst case scenario. Let's make this happen, Takuma. We have to save Kaido some way or another. Yeah, we'll find him. I know we will. Enemies may be lurking in the forest. We have to be on guard. I got it already. We're almost done here. We'll go check the dam in a minute. Right, and if anything happens, come right back here. Stay safe! Mountain Pass. Free battle. Yeah, I need to be near the library. Old school. First. First go to the library because I need to take pick up one of the pieces of chapters, whatever. 
What is this? I feel like a voice or someone's consciousness in my head. All in the seasoning. Chapter 4. That white rock I always spied around here. It's salt, he spoke of. Turned out to be an amazing discovery. Right, try this, your holiness. You drizzled white rock shaving on the fish. Don't know what the difference it'll make, but chomp. What? It's delicious. Delectable. Delightful. Haha, <laughs> pretty good, ain't it? Salt's just a thing for grilled fish. What is this? What's going on here? It's just some briny rock and yet. We call this cooking where I come from. Mother said it's what you do to good food to make it even tastier. She said she won father's heart with it. Well, no. Can't say I get it, but this is something else. You like it, your holiness? Would you like some more? There's more? Then sure, by all means. You got it. Then she started a fire, boiled some water, then set to chopping, stabbing, crushing, and mixing things. Didn't understand most of it, but it was like she was almost creating the food. Some things she cooked differently, but the food was all pretty, especially portions out on the plate. Finally, she said, all done. I made you grilled fish with boiled vegetables, so this is cooking. I made plenty for everyone too. You gods can have as much as you like. I realized the others had gathered to watch from afar. When the girl said this, they all came forward to enjoy her cooking. I can't even describe what that first bite tasted like. It was so good, I thought I could never get enough of it. Haha, <laughs> do you like it, my god? Oh, I do. I really, really do. I hope you... I hoped you would. You've done so much for me, and I haven't had any way of repaying you. I'm so glad you like my cooking. D don't say that. You... You never had to repay me for anything. God, what's wrong? Why are you crying? I I'm not crying. Don't be ridiculous, sniff and sob. Well, if you say so. It's too bad, though. I wish I could have co cocked. Sure, you already. I wish I could have cocked. Cooked a meal. <laughs> cooked a meal like this for mom and dad, and everyone in my village. So she's homesick. I guess that shouldn't be a surprise. If there was some <laughs> some way I could send her back, I would. But nobody knows how to do something like that. Hmm? God, is something wrong? Oh no, nothing. Do you think you could cook for me again sometime? Of course, I'll cook for you all if you... I'll cook for all you want. I'll cook for you all you want. Okay, Jesus, English is really hard these days. I don't know why. Why don't we try making something together next time? Ha, ah, good idea. That sounds fun. Already know what's gonna happen next, which makes me sad. Let's talk to Renamon. Sorry, Takuma, but I found out, but I haven't found out anything about Kaido. Gotcha. So, are you gonna search a little more around here? Planning to, but what is Renamon? Is there something you'd like to tell Takuma? Uh, yes, there's something I've been meaning to say. Something I've been avoiding telling you, to be honest. Okay, I'm happy to listen. Whatever it is, I know where the master is. What? We've got to tell the others. What if they got there by accident? Don't worry, the master l lost a lot of Kenzoku at the library. It'll take time for him to recover his strength. I doubt he can do much now. And I think our current priority is to rescue Kaido. Saying I knew where the master is would have only reinforced the pr professor's proposal. It's probably true based on how things were going earlier. Here's what I think. Even if I had my reasons, I hurt you all by showing you that illusion. And yet you still accept me afterwards. No matter how desperate Kaido may be, I'm sure you can get him to come around. I sure hope so. I'll do anything I can to help you. So let's find him. It's the least I can do to make up for everything. Hold on to this, Takuma. I'm sure it will help you out down the line. Oh yeah, definitely. We gotta make Agumon even stronger. Moto moto shikarada! Uh, mountain Pass, let's talk to... Uh, that's not how we get Saki. 
You can see that my brain is not here right now. It's like I'm making mistakes here and there when it comes to the reading, to the naming, everything. Saki, has she figured out where Kaido went? I wonder. Uh, Takuma? The mountains, the fog is thickening around them. Yeah, it looks like they're completely covered in the scary fog. There's no way we're going to the mountains now, that's for sure, so now what? I guess you could say there are fewer places for us to search, at least. Like, we don't need to search any areas with fog, right, huh? Everyone, enemies are coming out of the fog! Saki, get down! I won't let them get near anyone! Whew. Um, let me have a look. Any chests? No. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's good. Labra. Am I gonna put everyone in? Oh yeah, I still need to get Renamon's levels up as well. Oh, I also need to get Renamon's... Give Renamon some items. Uh... Oh, great. why that one didn't die. Evolution. Okay, if I can't kill that guy, then we can move the guy. I missed! You gotta be kidding me. Wow. You know what? Game. Good miss. We'll let uh, the AI take care of it. <laughs> I kinda annoyed that my decision there made a miss. I didn't even pay attention to it. Stupid ass Bokfo am I. Also need a toilet break. Ah. Stellar, Larity, Shinky Dinky Dinkies. Okay. Why do I have to be sweating, sweating bricks all the time? It looks like that's all of them. Thanks, Takuma. 
I think I might go back to the school since we can't go to the mountains. My best to go back and let everyone know about Fog 2. <laughs> Let's go. Um, remember how I said there were fewer places to search now because of the fog? Yeah, why? The shadow might be in there somewhere. But we shouldn't think about that, right? Saki. She's right. There's no use thinking about Kaido being in the fog. That would mean we can't find him, and I don't want to think about that. There's no denying the possibility, and that must terrify her. It's okay. Kaido's not in the fog. How can you be so sure? He's not here with us, but it doesn't mean he's helpless. I'm sure he snuck off for a reason. Maybe he had something he wanted to do. You think so? It does sound like him. And he's always on guard. No way he'd be surprised by that fog. He can't be in there. There are fewer places to search, so I'm sure we'll find him. It sounds about right. Isn't that a relief, Saki? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the school and let people know about the fog. Come on, Floramon. Okay, see you later, Takuma. I'm glad you're feeling better, Saki. Yeah, me too. Right, let's search a little more and then head back ourselves. At the end of this, I'm gonna go do a little chat about my honest thoughts about this game in a completion sense. Is Minoru, has he found any leads about Kaido? Nope. Kaito! Takuma, I'm in perfect time. Check this out! Is this the same? No, it's not. Yep, I saw that. It's getting super foggy. Guess we won't be going to the side with the dam. Just like the amusement park, the fog puts off our path. Why would it start getting thick now, of all times? Yes, if the master can make fog appear, why didn't he do it from the beginning? There must be more to the story than we know. What's that sound? Sound like a person. It might be Kaido. No, Minoru, it's the enemy. Minru, you baka! <laughs> there is a chest this time. Do we uh, pick it up? Or do I give a shit? I feel like being like, let's not give a shit, but to the other side, I'm like... Listen, this is just my typical, uh, I need completion, I need everything, kind of... Hunky donkey, chatty dinky. Chatty dinky. <laughs> Whatever. My brain is not working anyways. And I just said that we're gonna have a chat about the game. That's uh, gonna be... Uh... Wow, that one is strong. Oh, who cares? Who gives a shit? Yeah, attack me. Do it. And miss. Now counter... Oh, dang it. Raymond, you should have countered that. <sighs> uh, anyway, well, anyways, what was I saying again? Oh yeah, about me uh, having a chat about game in a completion sense, because uh, I've played through the game almost four times now, and. Playing through the game, like, once or twice is definitely not bad, but I started noticing that on my third playthrough, when things were not different and not changing, I was really starting to get annoyed, especially because <clears throat> I ended up doing my second playthrough as the hardest playthrough. Which did not really... That was... Honestly, that was pretty much the funnest one. I've been playing on hard mode this entire time. But, uh... Yeah, that was my most fun playthrough and battle-wise to me. Because I actually had to think a bit more than just... Use Agumon and... No, I, that was not what I was saying. I do not have snacks in my house right now, either, so... You were wrong. Uh, back to the point. But starting playthrough 3, the battles, especially this one as well, were just not interesting. I... 
It's just boring. There's no challenge anymore. I'm even playing on hard mode. But Agumon just slaps everything in one hit. And the others are decently leveled, so they don't die either anymore. Uh, which is just kind of disappointing. Uh, but yeah, most of that I'm just going to talk about like during the end credits. Because there's, there's, it's not just all negative. It's not all negative to multiple playthroughs and the completion route. Because I am really enjoying this still with every new thing that I learn. Then we can trick him. SQ, of course you can't trick me. I'm too fucking smart. <laughs> I'm too fucking smart, he says. Let's uh, use... Uh, what was his name? Baihumon. And then... Kongo the shit out of me. My damage is so bad. Must be a very specific one that that one is just that strong. Shoku. <sighs> Are we winning? We are always winning, Yordi. And stop being smart when SQ is here, no. If anything, if SQ is here, I need to be even more smart because SQ is... Uh, does all the dumb dumb things. We need to prevent SQ from doing all the dumb dumb things. That's totally illegal. Uh, I don't think so. In Yordi's world, it's as legal as can be. Stop shocking me. Kill the fucking... Uh, what are those things called again? Was it that called them Schlung-like things again? I don't remember. <laughs> counter! Not even a counter, the disappointment is unfathomable. Fathomable. Like, everything that's coming out of my mouth right now is just not making sense, I'm sorry. I think I'm gonna go this way. Do Crimson Blaze. Go this way and Congo. Kill. And I should be able to get close enough with. What's. Not her. Karis Mum. Still hitting me, are you? You bloody bastard. Uh, maybe I was wrong. Yeah, sad. Well, then one extra turn. SQ doesn't do dumb 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 blocks, SQ, not SQ's fault. <laughs> no, no, it's SQ's fault for sure. Dumb dumb is not sentient. That's not how it works. You can't trick me, SQ. Ah, it wasn't that tough. Jeez, this isn't time for us to be fighting, you know. Tell me about it. They might have gone Kaito too. Better hurry. Let's go check out the underground waterway. Uh, Minoru? What? He suddenly stopped. Now he's waiting for me to spit out what I was gonna say. I understand wanting to search an unexplored area to find Kaito. The underground waterway was so dangerous, can't help but be worried. It 
Sorry, never mind. Just be careful, okay? Thanks, man. I'll be fine. I mean, I've got Falcomo with me, right? Just want to find him as soon as I can. Stay calm and don't get carried away. I'll be doing the same. Well said. See you two later, then. If anything happens, just call for us. Jeez! What are we jeezing about, uh... Seppepepe? Seppepepe? Gotta make Agumon even stronger, right? This gives Agumon a power boost. Nothing, just life. Rah! Numemon getting murdered. <sighs> Why? Why did you kill Miu? Why? Who's Miu? Never heard of them. Shut up! You're evil, all of you. Miu's death is your fault, and I'll destroy every one of you. You're no different than the ones who took her from me. Now it's payback time, monsters. We should take a break, Kaido. We're both exhausted. Won't stand a chance if we're attacked now. We need a break. I have to kill every last one of them, otherwise Miu won't have her revenge. I think Miu would want that, Kaido. Don't you talk back to me! It's your fault! You were too weak! Everything would be okay if you'd been stronger. Do you really believe that? Bastard. No. You're not the weak one. I am. If I'd been stronger, I would've killed them all in the library and gotten revenge. No, she wouldn't even have died. If I was stronger, I would've kept her safe. I need power, more power. I'll do anything for it. I'll pay any price, I just need the power to destroy them all. Hold on, Kaido. Hello, human child. How did you mean what you just said? Who's there? Look, Kaido, over there. Or were you just joking? You, it's Peekmon. If it's power you want, then look no further. Come with me. Sorry, Kaido, you can't really be going with Peekmon. I am. If he tries to trick me, then I'll, he'll be the next one I slaughter. I said I'd pay any price, didn't I? I don't care who has to be sacrificed. Fine. What are you waiting for? Get moving. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm so impatient. Exploration time. <sighs> uh, forest area. Owie. Siblin Hudyo. I see Aoi. Has she learned anything, I wonder? Talk to Agumon? No. Oh my gosh, it's it must be Kaido that did this. What is that, Aoi? Oh, there, Takuma, look. Is that an enemy? It looks like someone took care of it already. It must have been Kaido. I caught a glimpse of someone deeper in the forest, really? I think the person I saw with was Kaido. There was a shadow that looked like Dragon too. They disappeared so fast. Which way did they go? That way, deeper into the forest, that's opposite side of that's the opposite of the direction to the school. We should divide in two. One group to tell the others and one to follow Kaido. And we should probably go with the one looking for Kaido. But she looks desperate to find him. I feel like she might do something rash. Listen, Takuma Akmon, huh, what? I'll go get everyone. I want you two to follow Kaito and Dracomon. Are you sure? I know you're worried about him. And you're worried about trusting me with that. It's written all over your face. Um, we don't have the time to discuss this. Please, Takuma. I know she what she I know she wants to, but she's counting on me to do it instead. I can't say no to that. I'm on it. Sorry to ask so much of you. I'll be back before long. Let's hurry and get this over with, Aoi. Right. Thanks, Takuma. Takuma boyo, Taku boyo. Doesn't look like anyone's been here. You see anything? Look, Takuma, here are footprints. Oh, you're right. Great job, Agumon. Not bad, if I say so myself. Some of them have different shapes. It must be Dragmon's tracks, probably. So, but hmm? hey, it's just my imagination. But the prints look deeper than normal. Did Dracomon push his feet harder than usual in order to help us find them? 
Hey, Takuma, it looks like these prints are heading away from the school. I wonder where they're going. Takuma, there you are. Oh, hey, Aoi. It looks like everyone else is here, too. It sure was fast. One was already at school, so we came looking for you. Are you following those tracks? Yeah, look here. It's weird. There are three sets of footprints. Kaido, Dracula, and who else? Maybe they were finding someone. No, that's not what happened here. Judging by the direction, they all left together without fighting. This doesn't feel right. We should track them down. If these are Kaido's footprints, we definitely can't just ignore them. Yeah, let's go! Let's go! Jeez, how far do you expect us to walk? No need to get testy. <laughs> we just need to find a place where we won't be bothered. Ugh. Hey, he's hurt badly. Looks like he's been hiding it from us. Yes, it will, I won't be longing for this world, even if you don't finish me off. My broken body will soon be swallowed by the fog and offered to the master. But I refuse that fate. To be consumed by he who saw us as pawns to become a part of him? Never. So you brought us all the way here just so you can complain about your boss? Who cares about your problems? You can complain in the afterlife once I kill you. Oh, I thought I heard you say you wanted more power. Hmm? Don't listen to him, Kaido. It's a trap. Shut up. Keep talking. What's your point? Kaito, no! This world is cruel, isn't it? Wouldn't you love to have sweet revenge? Yes, I want power. I want to be strong enough to get revenge on both worlds for hurting me. I can teach you a way to do that. Fill yourself with that hate towards the world and give... Then, then give me your friend here. What? What the hell are you talking about? I want Drachmon. Or should I say, his evolved form Myotismon. Myotismon and I merge into one, you'll have the power you seek. The power to get revenge on both worlds. Merge into one? Is that even possible? So I'm supposed to let you eat Drachmon? What? Afraid I'm lying to you? As I lay here dying? That this is all a trick? just feel sorry for you, wanting revenge so badly yet unable to get... Ugh. I think you're making things up because you don't want to die. Oh, calm down. You have me out of the picture soon enough either way. If I absorb my Otis Mon, my own consciousness will disappear as well. <laughs> your desire for revenge will give birth to a new power and bring your dreams to life. I'll be gone either way. But I want to make the master pay. Make the world pay. So what will it be? If I simply die now, you'll never get your power. I have to get my revenge on the world. I have to. Come on, Drakmon. Kaito, you can't be serious. You know what I want, don't you? You understand what I want better than anyone else in the world. I understand that your heart is burning with pure darkness. But I can tell you're serious. Alright then. I'll abide by your decision, as it should be. <laughs> now go on, imagine it. Fill your mind with hatred towards the world with revenge, Kaido. What? You and me. We're like brothers, weren't we? Yeah, we were. Thank you. Alright, here I go then. Ah, Dragmon evolved too. My Yotis Mon. That's it. Now demand it. Power strong enough to grant your wish. I hate this world for stealing what was most important to me. I want the power to destroy it, to have my revenge. Yotis Mon Fuse, Peed Mon Fuse. Bolt Bautamon. Bolt Bautamon? Yes, hello, my human creator. I am your sword, I will cleave through anything in order to achieve your ambition. <laughs> Kaido, we finally found you! Takuma? Where's Drachmon? Who's that? <laughs> Check it out, Takuma. Drachmon fused into this. He fused? What the hell you mean? He merged with another kingdom, Gami? Yeah, that. He merged with Pimon. Now I finally have it, the ultimate power. 
Don't be stupid. Once you've done that, Drachma might not be able to come back. You voluntarily sacrificed Drachmum? Please tell me you're joking. The power was worth the sacrifice. I understand now. The ultimate power of Bolt Bautamon. With his power, I'll punish both worlds. I'll destroy them for not caring about me. Excuse me? What the hell are you talking about, Kaido? Wake up! Oh, I'm awake. You're the ones who are still half asleep. Isn't it obvious? Now that you've seen Bolt Bautamon, can't you feel the power? You feel it as much as I read or not. It's so overwhelming, it may my knees shake. I'll teach you all. First the master, then Muki, for working with him. What did you just say? You heard me. You idiots will finally understand both Bautamon's power. Think about what you're saying, Kaido. Muki is on our side. We need her power to get back to our world. We'll never get her back if you kill her. So? Are you serious? Being a coward is what's got me killed. No more of that. I don't hesitate anymore. I'm gonna destroy the world and get revenge. If you want to make a scene, try and stop me, then I'll start the killing with you. Bobautamon. Yes, Kaido. Destroy Takuma. Destroy all of them. Kaido! I don't need your lectures about morality getting in the way of my revenge. You are all my enemy now. Ooh, two chests. <laughs> I can't believe that I actually noticed the two fucking chests. That is so much for empathy, guys. Jesus. Oh well. Evolution. Let's go War Greymoon first. I think I can actually open both chests with one attack on War Greymoon. Hell yeah, you're the smart boy. Amulet Acorn. Uh, a Laving Wind Crystal. Uh, evolution. Supply Moon. I can't kill him yet, anyways. strong. Hitting everyone at the same time. How is that thing so strong? <laughs> You're just too weak. Pathetic. And you thought you could beat the master like this. You're hopeless. Don't worry. I'll crush him for you. The entire world along him. Stop, Kaido. Mew would never want this. Don't you dare to pretend you know what Mew want, would want, Takuma. You know who understands what she wants the most? Me. Her big brother. Or maybe you had a thing for her. Is that it? What? You are like the stalker trying to get your dirty hands on you. Ah! Come on, no. I'm supposed to protect you. I lost his mind. He really intends to kill me. At this rate, he might actually succeed in destroying both worlds. Huh? Have you noticed now, Kaido? Ah, yes. 
<laughs> there you are. What? Found you. You can't hide from me. <laughs> Let's go, Bull Baltimore. Everything must be destroyed for revenge for Kaido. What the hell is going on? <coughs> Are you okay, Takuma? Hang in there. I'm fine, don't worry. But where did Kaido go? I can stop him. Can we? Did you see how strong he is? Next time, he might actually kill you. I understand the fear, but we have to go after him or else. Or else what? Remember how he sensed something? That was probably the Master and Miyuki. If Bolt Baltimore kills Miyuki along with the Master, and we're stuck here, and that's not all. Both worlds will be in danger. This is bad. What should we do? Follow Kaido's footprints? No, we're too exhausted. We should go back to the school for now. Once we've recovered some strength, we can head to the Master. But shouldn't we go after him now? Otherwise, how will we know where the Master is? I know where the Master is. You what? Renamon stayed quiet before so she wouldn't interrupt the search for Kaido. Now that the, the time to tell us, Renamon, where is the Master? The Master's true body is under the shrine. Kaito is so much more menacing than uh, who Pluto-mon was. Jesus. Morning, everyone. Morning, Takuma. You're just in time for breakfast. Hey, Takuma, you managed to get some sleep? Yeah, I slept okay. Felt wrong, though. You know, going to bed when we really need to find Kaido as soon as possible. Believe me, I know the anxiety you're feeling all too well. But we need that rest. If you fight someone and lose, you won't win a rematch without at least resting up first. Coming from Renamon, that means a lot. You must want to save Miyuki more than anyone. More than anyone. But he kept his cool and told us to rest, betting on the, ch the chance that will save her. Besides, we have to explain what happened to Gigimon and the others. And I deeply appreciate your consideration. Thank you for telling me everything. What's more, you needn't worry about us. We've merely traded one home for another. I can look after the little ones and the weak, as I did before her roadiness arrived, Jijimon. I must admit, when her roadiness first came to us, I found her quite a little terror. But now, when I think of her roadiness, no, of our queen, I'm filled with pride. So, for her sake, I truly hope that you are able to save her brother. We will, no matter what. Yes, as long as we refuse to give up, I'm sure we'll find a way. Anyway, now that that's settled, why don't we have breakfast? Hmm, speaking of which, is it just me or does this look like a real feast? Worth hearts. I worked hard to make this meal something special. After all, this will be the last thing we eat here. Alright. We're about to go up against both Baltimore and the Master. Once we're done with this meal, we'll probably never come back here again. Guess that means we don't have to worry about making this food last anymore. So I'm just gonna dig in. This looks great. Help yourself. Here, this is for you, Takuma. Uh, uh, thanks, but isn't this a little much? Since we don't know what we're in for, we need to eat a lot to keep our strength up. That's right, nobody's gonna go easy on you just because you're feeling hungry. Honestly, I don't know what we do without Aoi and her cooking skills. Yeah, we really lucked out that she's such a good cook. Looked forward to every meal. Oh, enough of that already. You should know, flattery will get you nowhere. But we'll get a second? Since this is our last meal here, I wanna try everything. Everyone's acting so bright and cheerful. They must be working hard to hide their fear and anxiety. It takes real strength. The least I can do is smile and eat my fill too. All right, let's see how this turns out. Hmm, this is great. Oh, are you aiming for seconds too, Takuma? What? No, I really think it's good. <laughs> I was just kidding, thank you. Well, got some bad news for you, Takuma. I'm taking all the seconds. Hey, don't worry. If you want that, that badly, you can have them. Takuma, you're too kind. I need to fight. I actually made more than we need. Takuma can have seconds too. You made more than we needed. Yeah, I uh really thinking about how many portions I was making. She must have made enough for Kaido too. You think Kaido's doing right now? Eating breakfast like us? Uh, actually, never mind. Doesn't seem likely. After all, we want he wants to destroy this place. But what I don't get. If he's gonna beat the master for us, can we just let him? 
No, even if he opposed the Master, that doesn't necessarily make him our ally. Besides, nobody knows what will happen to this world if the Master is defeated. And the effect that may have on the real world is even less certain. Plus, Kaido was pretty clear about going after Miyuki too. And while it pains me to even consider it, if she were to die, we'd have no way back to our world, we'd be stuck here forever. Besides, he aims to destroy everything, and at least... And I at least want to protect the little ones, yeah. Guess that won't work. Man, what's Kaido even thinking? I mean, I can kind of see where he's coming from. Mew was everything to him. Losing her must have filled him with anger and pain. He probably can't bear to see the world go on without her. Still, that's no reason to destroy the world. But Mew is gone. Just have to stop her annoying older brother for her. Yeah, pretty much. We'll need to try that much harder for Mew's sake. Not a reason for a hearty breakfast, are we? I think I have seconds after all. Hey, leave some for me too! Saki, this is definition of first come, first serve. You should know that by now. <laughs> Don't you know eating too fast makes you fat? Like I care! I have some more too, Aoi! Alright, don't eat too fast, okay? You'll choke. This is definitely a... a... better-hearted version of the last meal than that was on the Wrathful Path. Alright, but don't eat too fast, okay? You'll choke. This may be the last time we get to do this, eat together, laugh together, any of it. That thought makes the moment desperate as we act as we are to act normal, feel precious. Be lying if I say I wasn't scared about the fight ahead, but we can't run anymore. All we can do right now is to keep pushing forward. So I understand they are being scared, right? But me as the player, knowing how strong my Agumon actually is, just gonna slap him right across the face. Minoru, you ate practically everything. Ah, uh, you got a problem with that? That really was good, Aoi. Thanks for everything you've done for us. Oh, you don't have to put it like that. This may have been our last meal here. But it's not like we'll never eat together again. Let's go forward with that mindset. Right, let's do that. Having finished breakfast, we quickly got our things and met in front of the school. And without a word, we all lined up to bid farewell to the rundown school building. We could see Gigimon and the others behind the windows. This place is their home now. We all waved to them, then turned to go. We were headed for the shrine where Kaido, Wolf Bautamon, Miyuki, and the Master waited. That was the start of our final day here. The one that would see an end to everything. I still forgot to give... Uh... But it's fine. We... Uh... Mugen Collection. Before we actually go into the final thing... we I have quite a lot of time left for today. Um... Let's see... Potency Crystal Stellar. Just gonna give you that, and... A... Fine Skill Crystal, I guess. I don't really care. And the rest is fine. We're gonna go through all the Mugen Collections before we actually finish this. The Mugen Collection shouldn't take that long to complete, I think. I hope, at least. We can use six Digimon anyways, so we're using... ...our main crew, obviously. And... Well, technically, I want to use my strongest ones. I guess we're gonna go with the strongest ones. Let's see, are there any chests in this area? No. Okay, um... Evolution item, or evolution. I actually thought I could use these battles to, like, get more Digimon, but that was... not true. Oh, wait, I... Ah, too late to think about that now. Should have used Wargreymon. Wargreymon would have, like, wiped a few at the same time there. Let's see. 
we... Oh, I can't actually attack there. Um, how far does this go? <laughs> no megas, that's kind of surprising. Everything else is so much faster than we are. <laughs> that looks sick. This should be fine. Stand here, Crimson Blaze. These guys are also pretty decent level. They're not like uh, the other ones around level 40, 50. Um, I think I'm gonna go with Moon here. Just blast. Move. Evolution. Like, these are supposed to be the end game battles. So they're a lot tougher. These men did them. Um, I think my best bet would be to move forward, evolution, and then go into Ebowoomon here. And then do Mugen, which hits all of them. Hey, listen! Why? Why do I need to listen? Uh, I am gonna swap evolutions here again to... Oh, not you, to War Greymon. In the chance to... Uh, hit both of these... Stinks. Pervert! And that leaves two Digimon left. Oh, there's one over here. Should split the team up a little bit more. Uh, think about it. Terra Force can't hit. Ah, shame. Can hit this though. I think I'm gonna evolve here actually. For Rudomon. does less damage, but it's a more effective type against. The one and only Sepa Leopard Ding Dong. Yep. Mm. Doubt I can actually reach him from here. that this guy outspeeds as well. Freezing breath. Let's see, I should be fine, right? As long as I get off the line of Baihu Moon. Then Digivolve to Fanglo Mon Mon 
than just hit it. Okay, we're not fine yet, but we're coming closer. Are you fucking kidding me, mate? Should I check how many battles there are to see if I should actually clean up all of them? It does give me very nice loot though, that I'm all gonna put into Agamon again. Battle 5, Agamon, Gabamon. I wonder if we're gonna get into a battle with uh... Oh, this is an easy floor. Easy peasy. Agamon. Metal Gabumon. I guess I'm gonna go check. Move in chapter battles. And put the battle on Auto. For the time being. There are multiple Agmons. Okay. Let me at least start off with War Greymon into uh, an AoE attack here. Because these two little uh, stinkies can buy one of them for this. And turn power. Okay. Uh, let me put this on auto and then go have a nice cat. Nice one, Metal Guru Mon. Digimon survive all Ugin chapter battles. Holy shit, they're 30? I wish I'd done this one sooner. 30 battles. Okay, I'm, I don't know how long this is gonna take, so I don't know how far we're gonna do this. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, but be careful if it's female. <laughs> Nani? Uh, yeah, that kind of puts me in a situation where I'm like... Did I do that during this? Good recollection. That's your best bet. Yeah, okay. Uh, that kinda, it really kind of depends on how rough this is going to be. Are we still on the first wave? No, right? What the fuck is uh, War Dream doing all the way over there, though? There's only Andromon left. Can't even tell where he is. Where the fuck is Andromon? Oh, he went all the way to the back for defense. Are you kidding me? Yeah, this is something that I definitely can do better if I personally take care of the battles. I am thinking of what the point is for me to do this right now, though. Other than dope ass challenge. Questions, please. Why not? Why no questions? I do think that this battle was probably best done in New Game or in the Truthful Route when we get the room on as well. I should have actually. Ah, 
shit, I should have done the chat talking with um Takuma or two Takuma. And the one, but, uh, I'll see how far we can get, like, because I do want to end this before I need to stop the stream. I do think it's a good idea that as soon as I go into the battle, use uh, Minoru's chat on Takuma. So that we can start moving uh, and sweeping faster, at least. Uh, okay, Agumon. Mm, okay, I think we're setting Agumon here, Akumon here, Labramon here. Have you three go this way? Speeds, cringe. Okay, start with evolution. Go, Ward Raymond. Wondering. Let's have a look. I don't think I need it. I do need it, apparently. My power buff. Talk, Ward Raymond. Look, I have no idea of what I say and what it means. So if people question it, it will be completely situation. Askew, don't you think you should be working on that then? <laughs> like that it doesn't become a complete poo poo situation. Okay, that's two. Uh, move you up. Move you here. And turn. You're coming my way, which is guys are charging slowly up front. Uh, talk to Lord Raymon. I mean, technically you can just say whatever the fuck you want and uh, not give a shit about what it means. But uh, don't you think you should uh, like give a little bit of a shit about what the fuck you're talking about? Pretty cool, nice hit. Can't keep my mouth shut. Yeah, the yeah, that's a uh, best would probably be in this movie. Then stand here, attack. Start with too much work. So you remember, SQ, when we were talking about that thing that meant, like, uh, trying to feel better and getting... Instead of having to feel bad the entire time? If you don't work hard, you'll just stay sad forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. You know? Which is lame. So, at least try a little bit. Uh, let's go stand here. And then, maybe... But, but, what but? What, what in the but? Uh, 
Like, don't get me wrong, I understand that it's not easy. But nothing is ever easy. Jesus Christ. You guys really have to go and try and kill my poor little metal guru moon like that? Metal Garurumon is the highest level, but he's so squishy. But, but. Haha, <laughs> he said but. If I did. I sure did. What, what? In the butt. I wonder if I can get something interesting from these battles, like new moves or something. It's not easy to me. It's not easy for me either. But you don't see me give up, now do you? Poo poo in the butt. And that's where it belongs, the poo poo. And it get. <laughs> Damn it, never mind. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna continue this. Uh. We'll just start with War Greymon. War Greymon is best at doing AoE damage. Okay, let's see. Uh, you can die, you can die. You don't die, so we'll take this one out first. Metal Broom on! Attack, can I actually hit anything? Yes. This looks like a nice spot for me to murder. <sighs> yeah, I don't think I'm gonna play through all these battles. They're just too slow. I am curious if they're gonna get tougher, though. Okay, let's uh, at least bring it to level one, to the 10th battle, Yordi. Be the 10th battle. That, that's the minimum. That's the minimum that we should do, at the very least. But Yordi, you're strong, because you're Yordi Mom. I'm only Cookie who knows how to crumble. That's not true. That's not true at all. I only became strong through all my struggles. Like, I've been at the bottom. So it's not really fair to say that you can't because I'm strong. I became strong. Because I know as anyone how hard it is to struggle with everything. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, this is an easy one. Five. Should be fine. Five more. Blast him.
because you Digimon. <sighs> oh, SQ. Poor, naive, little SQ. Oh, I hate this map. This map is absolute garbage. But I'll stop, because it's not like it's gonna hit home on you anyways. Oh man, oh I hate this map. This is the worst map. Evolution... I think I'm just gonna start off with my Make sure to at least kill one. Taiko! They never hit home. I live in the sky, yo. say anything. Just gonna leave it at what it is. Um into the right direction here. Sad. Ah, uh -uh, but see, he did say something. That's my trick, SQ. I used that on Zillar, uh, like, before the stream. Can't use my tricks. How dare you? Let's see, where are these two stinky faces? Right fucking next to each other. Uh, but I can't hit both. From there, so instead we're going to... Go back to War Greymoon. I'm so hilariously irritating. No, you're not. <laughs> you're actually not. SQ, you can't irritate me when I'm in a good mood. You can only irritate me when I'm in a... Oh, I forgot about that guy there. When I'm in a bad mood. that Yordi does not like it when you're being stinky. Can you stop running away? Um, I think probably Fangle will probably take this Nope. 
Uh, I mean, yep, that's what I'm saying. SQ, the stinky corner is a nice corner. You're not allowed to sit in it if you don't think it's nice. I'll figure it need to think of something else. Wow, Etamon is faster than I am? How high is his speed stat? Okay, uh, no ends, talk. Then evolution. I think I should be able to kill both, right? With the water right now. I don't like this map layout. Wow. Not even close. No, let's go with the little skeleton and shippers down your spine and notes. It's not how the song goes, that's cute. It's spooky scary skeletons. Not Taku. Yadi yadi dazi. Yeah, we throw someone. Are you kidding me? That is that is the one thing that's super annoying about this game. Battles like this, there's always a moon, a Digimon that just like walks away to defend, and it's just annoying because it's just prolonging like the fight instead of making it more interesting, because you rarely get ganked. <clears throat> okay, um, let's go murder these two. Stand here, and then go by Hulu. Stinky Quack made a new version. <laughs> okay, whatever. Whatever, yo, whatever. Evolution, suck yo, more. I think I could do all 30 before I reach the time limit of tonight's stream, but I really don't wanna. Oh, wrong button. Evolution. Like, I could technically, but that's probably better for off stream. I could just go into these battles and put out of battle on and still win. Even though they have been gaining levels over the battles though, so probably by the last battle they're pretty fucking strong. But getting there is the issue. A wh a whatever, whoever, I want a whatever, SQ. You have no power here. I mean, look at the Etamon. Etamon still hasn't actually, like, taken a lot of damage. I know I'm not going on Fang Longmon, who would probably one hit it. But... 
but I'm using a strong typing against him, which is super funny. Uh, can go. No, can't reach anything. Okay, turn. Long serenade. Well, 473 generation. We need a movie Pokemon phase, Digimon. Uh, no, we don't. It seems like an absolute stupid movie. No, I don't. Don't think so. See how much damage I would have done. Ooh, seriously? Fang Long One would not have insta killed. Interesting. Okay, if I crit it, he would have insta killed. I do say that these battles kinda make me appreciate the game a little bit more when it comes to the battle settings itself. battles itself. They really did, like, uh, make this the final challenge for the game. But the best time to do this is definitely during a truthful run. Before the end. Because you have all your Digimons with you, you can use everyone to its best abilities. Victory. Okay, one more battle, and then we've done battle 10. We do get a lot of, like, power boosting items. Damn it, SQ. Not while I'm recording. Fuck's sake. And stretch. <sighs> Stretched! <sighs> Can I actually see the attack stats here? 535, 428, speed 347. How about Metal Gurumon? Holy shit, Metal Gurumon is not that strong. Okay, Agumon's still faster. Fine, we'll use uh, Saber Leon. Evolution. Margarine. This room is not that large. I might be able to take out more than just one Digimon. Talk. Or Greymon, I hope at least. Actually, I just realized something. I'll do that in a bit after I kill a few things. Hmm. It's always a two. I will take out the two on the right first and take out the two on the left. I don't need to have much speed. Fine, I'll do the one minute relaxation time while we auto battle.
timer. One minute. smart at SQ. very easy to outsmart SQ. That's why she cannot be evil, chaos, or irritating. Can I actually see 300? Holy shit, this guy has physical defense. So insane. insane as my war Greymon. Um, stand behind it. In these men, the land of destroyed. Wow, the damage I did got instantly recovered. Cringe. This one cannot move twice. Ah, fine. Irritating? Was that about me? Yeah, that was about how you are not smart enough to be chaos or irritating or whatever it is that you want to be. so mean against SQ all the time. Because she keeps trying to do things that is so... Un things that she can't. Wait, where's the last living enemy? Are you f fucking kidding me? The war grey... The bloody hell! The metal grey mole ran away to guard? You gotta be shitting me, mate. I thought I was like, I already killed everything, but apparently not. Yaddy yaddy does he. Hurts my meow meow feelings. See, you have feelings, and chaos and irritating and evil do not have feelings. Another reason why you cannot be all those things. Oh, poop face. See, that, that is... I'm playing hard mode, and there is literally no point in them just walking away and... 
like, in the story, it's not that of an issue, because it's so... You're, you want to do these battles, but in this case, you want to get through the battles as quickly as possible. And looks I. We're just gonna have to talk about that all in all at the end game. Because you don't want to admit it, but as Q is you already friends, and friends insult friends. That's what friends do. No, that's not what friends do. Did I already attack him? I know you've learned by being on Twitch that chatters insult the streamer, but that is not what friends do. Friends don't insult friends. Blast this motherfucker to hell. I've officially done 10 battles. I'm done. <laughs> uh, I'm not. Oh! What the hell? What is this? Takuma! Pull out your hand. Here, I found something. Divine Protection Crystal? Oh, thanks a bunch, Agumon. What the fuck is that? I knew it, there were things to gain from this. Now Yordi is definitely tilted. Stats absorb resist damage reduction. This strange crystal seems to protect seems protected by great power. Maybe it'll protect me. Oh man. No, we're not gonna go for it. Screw this. But this does uh, alleviate into one of my issues here. Enhanced equipped items that I was missing. Probably on 20 and on 30 I get another one. <laughs> we are friends, but friends don't insult friends. It's what I'm just trying to teach you, that we are friends, but friends don't insult friends. That's something entirely different, SQ. I'm just telling you. Eight crystal. You don't really see what it does, though. We just want power, anyways. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm not gonna waste my time on this anymore. We're done. We're going to the forest area. Then we're going to the inner shrine entrance. Because there's one last chapter here to find. We're gonna read that one out loud, and then we're gonna continue eating the game. It's been a long time now since the human girl first cooked for me. She has gone from looking thin and pale to full and healthy. Every now and then, though, she gets this sad look on her face, and it breaks my heart to see her like that. Oh, look, a potato! We used to grow these in my village. They are really tasty. They are? Around here they grow all over the place. Can I take a bunch of them, then? You can do so much with potatoes. Take as many as you like. I'm excited to try some new cooking. Friend 101 with Yordi. Uh, I wouldn't do an entire 101 friendship with Yordi. <laughs> now, what should we make with them? They're not bad on their own. But we could steam them or mash them. Hey, do you want to go back to your village? Hmm. What makes you ask that? I guess I would like to go back and see everyone again, but... But I'd get lonely without you, my god. You would? Of course I would. I really care about you. You miss your parents, though, don't you? Yeah, I do. I'd love to see my mom and dad again, but is there some way for me to go back? I... I'm sorry, I don't know about that any more than you do. Yeah, so it's not worth thinking about it, is it? I'm lonely, but there's no point in worrying about that unless we do find a way back. Yeah, you're right. 
always wanted to be the one to look out for her. And yet, when did she grow up so much? That's when I realized the fog is everywhere, huh? Where did all the fog come from? Quick, this way. You shouldn't be out on your own in the fog. Mom? What is it? Do you see something? It's my mom. She's crying. She's looking for me, but she can't find me. She's there, in the fog. Oh, and I can... I can hear her crying. In the fog? I can see or hear anything, but now the girl is crying. Please, my god, I want to go see my mom. I miss her so much. I go see her. If you miss her that much, you should go see her. Oh, thank you. Don't worry, I'll come back to see you again. Right, I'll be waiting for you. I st stayed right where I was, watching her run into the fog until I couldn't see her anymore. I guess humans really do belong in the human world. That must be why those giant hands reached out to draw her in. I don't understand why I hurt so much. Didn't I do the right thing? I hope the girl's happy with her mother. I hope I get to see her again. For some reason, after the girl vanished into the fog, my body started to break down into little pieces, even though I was the one who was just watching. My last thought, as I felt myself fading away, was to wonder if the girl made it back safely. Oh, these are so... Oh, Even these stories are so heartbreaking, right? Oh, damn. <clears throat> you got crushed. Oh, not 101, but a hundred and a half. <laughs> God damn it, SQ. <sighs> Inner Shrine. Should I have a chat with Minoru? Yeah, let's have a chat with Minoru. Minoru. Let me turn on the lights, actually. Let me turn on the lights when we reach a battle or something. All this tension is really getting to me, Takuma. I mean, any way you look at it, this is the moment of truth we're coming up where it sure is. When I think about it, it's... This is... All this other stuff starts racing through my head. Like about everything that happened so far about Ryo, Shuji. And of course, me too. Kaito really cared for her, you know? Yeah, even after he got thrown into this world, his first concern was how to help Miu. Which is pretty incredible if you think about it. I could barely take care of myself. I always admired him for... How should I say it? Not losing sight of what's important. He had this unshakable strength when it came to doing whatever he set his mind to. So now I don't know what we can say to him to keep him from destroying the world. Inner is right. Kaito always was strong. And not just in terms of Braum. There was an inner strength to him as well. What could we say to him that would make him lose his desire to destroy the world? What? Well, I'm only helping. Uh, I can't think of anything that might move Kaido as much as Mew's words. You're probably right, but it's no use wishing for what we haven't got. Yeah, sorry. And Kaito can be such a pain in the neck. You weren't so stubborn. That's also what makes him so strong. Yeah. And it was always been simple and straightforward. Maybe that's why he snapped when he lost someone really important to him. When you think about it like that, maybe being so straightforward isn't the good thing. Anyway, I think over what I'm going to say to Kaido. Just hope it's enough to get him to think twice about destroying the world. Oops. Go straight! Go straight forward. Should I talk to Saki? Can we actually skip talking to Saki? No, we cannot. Uh, why do you think Kaito was so concerned about Miu anyway? Because she was a sister? Didn't the way he looked after her seem a little excessive for that? I mean, sure, Miu did make herself queen, which was a crazy thing to do. But from talking to her, anyone could see she was actually pretty well put together. That's true, Mew didn't seem senseless, senseless enough for Kaido to be so worried about her. I know, right? Uh, not that I need to know why Kaito was so protective of her. After all, there are some things people don't want to share with anyone. I just wish he hadn't gotten so worked up about her that he wound up the way he did. If only he learned to rely on others instead of putting everything on himself, I couldn't agree more. 
Kaito never said anything to us. He never talked about his pain, never asked for help. It sounds like Saki didn't want him keeping all that bottled up inside. Kaito was here right now. What would you say to him? What would you want to tell him? It's a good question. I don't think I've ever put it into words before. But I don't want Kaito to keep suffering through this on his own, either. What would be the best way to get that across to Kaido? I don't really know the real answer here. I know for a fact that Kaito uh, wants to protect Miu, of course, due to the fact that she had a soul car, which kind of made him go bazunkas. Which turned that, like, I want to protect my little sister into overprotecting. Which is not too weird. That's what I do like, though, about taking the other routes, because if you take the moral route, you can talk to everyone and you get to learn a little bit of their personalities and get an understanding that they're not as well put together or, like, have things that they uh, hide. But it's only due to going through the Wrathful and the... Uh, the Harmony route that you learn about Aoi and Saki's uh, issues, like real issues, what's going on. And same with... Oh, damn, brain. Same with uh, Kaito and Miu. Only when you realize that they're gonna die, actually gonna die, that's when you, like, get the real... You get a sense of what they are about and what happened to them before coming to this world. The same, like, the only one that didn't have that was Ryo. In the same sense as, like, Shuji had, that flashback of where he feels like he was incompetent toward, uh, incompetent and his dad hated him or whatever. Uh, but Ryo didn't have that. He actually outed himself, sort of, during the moment that he died. Where Har Haru was there, right? I don't know, it seems pretty harsh. I think maybe you're not getting it. It's not that I want to yell at him. I want him to know when he's lashing out. People can't see his good side, that's all. Yes, that works. Anyway, Kato is really sweet, so I'm sure he'll get what you're trying to say. <laughs> you think Kato is sweet? <laughs> Of course, he can be kind of brash, so maybe it's hard to see it, but he'd always say what nobody else wanted to say, stand out front whenever we talked with an enemy. And I feel like he looked out for all of us, not just Mew. Yeah, you're right. He may not have put it into words, but he really was very thoughtful. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I'm sure Kaido is down there somewhere. We just need to hurry up and find him. I don't believe this. Renamon, is something wrong? The door to the next level is open. This is exactly what happened in the other one. Or rather, it's been destroyed. Uh, what, do you th what are you talking about? This door is normally locked shut. You need a key to open the way to the lowest level. But it looks like it's been forced open. Wait, are you saying Bolt Boutamon tore that thing open? So much strength must it have taken to tear... How much strength must it have taken to tear through this massive door? It didn't look that big, honestly. I felt like War Greymon could punch a hole in it as well. One's trying not to look at the broken door, and I know all too well why that is. Seeing the aftermath of such destruction shows the power of the threat we're facing. If we're all scared right now, forcing ourselves to move forward isn't a good idea. And I could use some time to calm down myself. Maybe we should take a break. I know when we can spend some time looking at these murals. We don't know much about these. I really don't want to, though. Professor, last time we came here you said you hadn't finished investigating, but have you found out anything? No, I'm afraid I wasn't able to make any new discoveries concerning these murals. As I said before, it seems more immense power brought tragedy to a great many. Though I can't get any more than that from this mural. What about this one? 
Wasn't it humans and Kinemogami suffering? No, something about four godlike beings. Yes, the four godlike beings from ancient legends. This mural includes aspects of them. And the composition still bothers me. Heaven is traditionally above and hell below. I don't really get what he's talking about here in this case. So, um... Because the godly beings are, like, above, right? And we're below where the hell is, so... Ah, uh, no. No, I'm afraid I can't offer any interpretation of this mural or either. I remain curious, but we don't have the time to stop and try to interpret it. Interpret... Interpret them now? Regret regretfully, I believe we should move ahead. Is everyone ready to move on? Feeling up to go forward, are we? Honestly, I'm pretty scared. There's no guarantee we'll all make it out, okay? But we can't just leave Kaido like this, so I can't afford to give in to my fears. That's the spirit. Don't worry, I'll keep everyone safe. Labramon, could you please not steal my thunder? I intend to protect everyone, too. Our fear... Our foes are fierce, we must be vigilant and neither shrink back nor stop from fear. Is that right, Minoru? Right. In fact, I'll lead the charge. <laughs> That's quite reassuring. Let me tell you, I'm sure you're all right to move forward, hoping to talk with Kaido. Likely it will come to a fight, but I would encourage you to keep trying to reach him. Good. It looks like everyone's ready to get going again. If Kaito will listen to us, we should even go back to supporting one another, like before. No, I'm sure that's how it'll go. I need to believe that and move forward without fear. No fear. Wordy smash. I wonder what Kaido's ending is going to be like. Because he's going to be the main bad guy in the end, most likely, just like with uh... Aoi, most likely. Oh, Takma! The walls in... walls in the air have lots of drawings, too. Yeah, they do. And there's another huge mural covering the whole wall. Incredible, this mural is like nothing else I've ever seen. It appears to be portraying the link between humans and Kimonogami. They're bond together by what looks like a string. <laughs> Might this be meant to explain that the humans in Kinemogami were once much closer? No, if that were all if that were all, surely the other murals would suffice. But then what is this expression, the center of the body? Is that meant to be the heart? Perhaps the soul. Soul? What do you mean? It's an even more fundamental part of one's being than the heart, the essence of oneself. Humans have referred to this concept as the soul since ancient times. Takuma, Agumon, surely you two have also felt a connection on that level. One that goes beyond trust nor affection, as if you were inextricably linked together. Oh yeah, I know that feeling. It's how I know Takuma is my fated child. Yes, of course. I felt that way myself. But humans and certain Kemogami are each bound to a specific individual. Someone with whom they feel they belong, as if they were two halves of the same soul. So, you're like the other half of my soul? Soulmates! <laughs> it's actually a little embarrassing to talk about. It must have been like that for Kaido. I wonder what it feels like for him to have half his soul fused with Piedmon. Hey, don't get so down, Aoi. Remember, it's because Kaido is on the verge of making a huge mistake that we gotta remind him of what's right. I'm agreeing more. Half of Bautamon is Drakmon. Which means if we can change Kaido's mind, we can stop him from destroying the world. This passage leads to the lowest level where Miyuki and the Master are waiting. I hope you're all ready for the- Ugh. Jesus. You bet we are. Let's go save Kaido and Miyuki. It all comes down to this. We've got to find a way to reach Kaido and Miyuki. We're both prepared to fight as well. However hard things get, we'll triumph in the end. We have to. I've seen enough suffering. We don't need more. Let's all make it out of this together. Every last one of us. I'm sure we can find a way for this to end well. Let's trust in that as we move forward. Okay, everyone, follow me. Mmm, <laughs> shivers. 
<laughs> Takuma, can I talk with you about one last thing? Make sure what is it. I've been thinking about what to say to Kaido since the professor told us about fusion. Only I can't seem to come up with anything, and I end up focusing on my regrets instead. I just can't help feeling like there was more I could have done for Kaido. Like, even after he lost Mew, I could have been there for him more than I was. I keep thinking of all these things that I should have done. It's all that's on my mind. And though I know it's pointless to dwell on what's in the past. Is it really pointless, though? I feel like it's not true. Regrets can be painful, but there are, there must be some way f how we can put them to good use. <laughs> well, you can't help how you feel, but you can use your regrets to shape the future. Nobody gets everything right on the first try, and that's why it's important to reflect. I'm sure that next time you'll know enough to make the right choice. That's very kind of you to say. You're right, I should try to learn from my regrets. You know, I think talking with you about this has made me realize something. Maybe things turn out like this for Kaido because he tried not to have any regrets. What do you mean? I'll take Miu, who was always old for protective of her, no matter how much she hated it. And it takes strength to believe what you did was right despite what others think. But it feels like it's a kind of strength, strength of a fragile heart. Because once you realize you were wrong about something, it's going to hurt that much more. Which technically portrays what happened to Aoi originally, or in the Wrathful Route. That's a good point, you know? I've always thought of Kaito as confident and strong, but looked at another way. Maybe he had his own weaknesses that... <gasps> Yeep! What happened? Oh, what was that sound? Uh, my phone went off. Apparently I got a text, huh? Hey, what's the big deal? It's just another one of those garbled messages, right? Actually, no. I mean, parts of it are still garbled, but I can read some of it. Wait, really? Can I see? Sure, here. It's something about being worried for Aoi. I feel like this was probably from one of my parents. This makes no sense. How is there a reception so far on the ground? Why the text? Why is the text readable? Maybe I'd better ask the others to see if anyone else got a message. See, and in the truthful ending, that gets explained as well. Hey, check it out, I got a text too. Let's see, the part I can read is asking if I'm okay and taking my medicines. It's clear someone's concerned about you, but it's hard to make out the details. <laughs> sure, I guess. But wait, I don't remember hearing your phone go off. It's because I put it on silent. Wait, that's a good idea. Everyone silence your phones so the alerts don't surprise us. Oh, right. Okay. Done. Sorry to scare you, everyone. I've just set mine silent, too. Thanks. Guess we're ready to go, then. Let's head straight for the master. Still need to talk to Minoru. So I checked my message to see if I had any. Turns out, I got nothing. Go figure. Says le that like he doesn't care, but he looks a little disappointed. Hey, I could send you a text once we make it out of here. A lot of good that'll do. What I want is a message from someone in our world now. <laughs> yeah, I figured. But look, I don't know why we're getting texts now, or why they're less garbled. But I'm sure everyone's waiting for you. I'll bet you get a bunch of texts all at on once. I appreciate you cheering me up and all. But it kind of making me feel even more alone. What? No way. You're so good with people. I bet you got tons of friends. Seriously, give it a rest. The more you talk about it, the worse I feel. And this sucks. I'm actually getting kind of tense. I don't know why. I already know what's gonna happen, right? Uh, what is this? What the hell happened here? Are these enemies? They've all been beaten to a pulp. Likely the Masters Kenzoku, since we can still see them. They must be recently slain. Kaito did all this on his own? That guy is something else. Wait, who's that lying in that pile of Kenzoku corpses? Miyuki! Hang in there, Miyuki! Miyuki? Miyuki! It's alright, seeing she's simply unconscious. Is she still alive? I was so worried. Yes, I can feel pulse, and her continued existence means she must still be alive. This is strange. How is it she's separated from the Master? Could it be because something Kaido did? Kaito did? 
Bingo! I was able to pour right out of the master thanks to Bolt Bout's mom. Kaito. Really did plan on killing her, but I changed my mind. What made you do that? Now that's a good question. See, I don't have anything against Miyuki, though I did pay her back for attacking us. Well, that's a relief. We've avoided the worst case scenario. Miyuki's safe. If we can talk some sense into Kaito, maybe there's hope for us yet. Kaito, won't you please stop? Miki's safe now. That means we can all go back. There's no need to destroy the world. Can we go... Can we work together like before and go home? Go home? What, is, what point is there in going home? It's not like Mew is going to be there. Nothing will ever be like it was before, so I'm going to destroy it all. What's even the point of that? You'd be destroying your own world too. Not just that. Anywhere you ever had any memories of Mew. The F... To everyday happiness you could have with someone, your own desire to live. You'd be bringing an end to all of that. So what? You wouldn't be part of it any, any of it anyway. Keep talking that way, and I might just finish you off first. <laughs> you talk to me like you know anything about the memories I have with Mew. We should have been able to make a whole lot more. And who do you think stole that from me? Who is it that robbed Mew of her happiness? That coward of a master, hiding down here, this whole time. And both this world and ours for making her life so hard. Well, now it's time for some payback. I'll tear everything down with my own two hands. No, Kaito. I still feel the same way I did the last time we met. Mew wouldn't want this. Huh. Never did like that self-righteous attitude of yours. And don't you use Mew's name so lightly. You may as well be another enemy who let her die. Yes, you're all enemies, every last one of you. So I'm gonna crush you here and now. Go, Bolt Boutamon, kill them all. As you wish, Kaito. Here we go, brace yourselves, everyone. You all failed Mew. All of you. Out of my sight. Cringe. I don't think Miyuki actually survives this one, though. Uh, we can add to Digimon again. Renamon survives, apparently. Oh wait, last time Renamon also survived until after the battle. Fuck it. This is just a single battle against Bull Baltimore, so I'm just gonna charge forward. We should be able to easily sweep him. Probably should have used all my abilities before our reserves before getting into this one. Oh, that's not a good idea. Zukaido actually filled my moving. I could have actually hit him. Not think about it. But I forgot to have a hole first. really gotta make weird sounds all the time, Yordi. You don't have to, but you're doing it anyway, so... Why am I talking to myself? Oop. That's fine. Pretty sure I go first. Yeah. Boots about to... Brother unredeemed. Okay. So we actually do destroy Kaito here. It's it can be. Ugh. 
We did it, Takuma. Yeah, we won. Why? I gave up Dragmon to Bolt. Bout to want to gain that power and still wasn't enough, Kaido. No one wants to be strong enough to protect me, but that's all I has come to this. You can't change what you've done. What's past is past. But we're still on life. There the world hasn't been destroyed yet. It's okay, Kaido. I know you'll find a way to move forward again. Move forward again? If you really want to honor Miu, you should protect what she's left behind. Keep Gigi Mon and everyone from the amusement park safe. The one she wanted to save. Yes, that's right. Miu tried to save them. Her actions made it clear that that's what she wished. But I would have destroyed that. I thought I was watching her closer than anyone, but I failed to see what she wanted. Everyone gets so worked up sometimes. They miss what's right in front of them. It happens to us too, right, Minoru? Mm, yeah. Sure, I know what you mean. Do you have to bring it up like that? Ah, yes. It was the time Minoru was so fearful of us that he started ranting and raving. Still, we did not turn our backs on Minoru. You were much the same, Kaido. Saki cried out in fear when she first saw me, too. And now we're best friends. That's just how it is. Kaito, you're a friend, so don't go and act like you're on your own. But I tried to destroy the entire world, and if you ever try again, we'll be sure to knock some sense into you. How can you just brush that off? You really want me as a friend after everything? We do. You're one of us, Kaido. You really think I deserve a second chance. Of course you do. Use your power to protect things this time, not to destroy them. To protect things. Now come on. We still need to do something about the master and get back and get back home. <laughs> uh, about mom? Listen, you're going to going on about second chances about moving forward. You're such fools. It's gone into all of your Kaido stop. He he's changed. He's nothing like he was before. Come on, did you? Well, I'm afraid you're a little too late. Ah. What? Gotcha. Ah! Old Boutmon yanked Miyuki right out of Renamon's hands, capturing her for himself. Renamon? Forget me, save Miyuki. Uh. Boutmon, stop! I never told you to do that. Oh, but aren't you the one who told me to destroy the world, Kaito? I don't care about that anymore. Now let go of Miyuki. That's not going to work. Both Boutamon has changed. Yet the feel of Dragmon about him before, but that is gone now. What? No. That would mean we're really talking to... <laughs> I see you finally realize what happened, Kaito. It was your wish for revenge, your desire for destruction that powered this fusion. Once those emotions faded from within you, your bond with Bolt Boutamon was lost. And now it is I, Piedmon, the other member of this fusion, whose will is ascendant. Bastard! Is this your plan from the start? Oh, had you actually brought an end to both worlds, that would have suited me just fine. But it turns out you just didn't have it in you. A shame. Real shame. However, the all-consuming fire of revenge which you set at our fusion still burns within me. So I will do what you could not, and destroy both the Master and the Two Worlds for you. You intend to use Miyuki for that purpose? Let her go! Didn't you take her from the Master to begin with? Why put her in danger again? Isn't it obvious? So I can take her in and gain her power instead of the Master. What? No, stop! Now as I recall, you were bound to this girl by fate, were you not? In which case, once I take her in, and she is no more, that will be the end of you as well. Wait, no! Care about what happens to me, please. Just let Miyuki go. Oh, how tragic. Really, it's heartbreaking. The least I could do is end this quickly. Right now, Mom. Miyuki! Ah! Hmm? What? <clears throat> how dare you sneak up behind me? Ha! Ah! You too, Kaido? You may not be awake right now, but half of you is Drachmon. And I'm not letting you force him go along with my mistake anymore. Miyuki, now run away while we hold him. 
<laughs> My, what a farce. Huh? What's happening? Being pulled into Bold Bautamon? Professor Kaido! Fools, fuse with me along with the Maiden and witness the destruction of both worlds. Kaito! Oh no. Aoi, no, you'll just get pulled in too. But if we don't do something, we're going to lose Kaido. Stay back. What? Takuma, everyone, I'm sorry, but you got this. You know, being friends wasn't so bad. Oh no, Kaido, Professor, Miyuki! They've all been taken in, which means no, it can't be. There goes Renamon. Ah. Ah. Renamon has reverted to his original form and he's in such pain. This is just like with Kunimon, Lopmon, and Shakomon. He's disappearing into the light. Yuki. Yuki. I'm sorry. I couldn't protect you. Okay, so we lose Renamon again. Jesus Christ. Renamon? Renamon! Wait, if Renamon disappeared, then that means Miyuki. It's not just Miyuki, the Professor and Kaito got taken in too. Does that mean they're all dead? No. No, this can't be happening. <laughs> now I have ultimate power and the power of the Maiden. I am supreme! Prepare yourself, Master, for soon you will face me. Fueled by my hatred for this world burning within me, I will end your futile existence. Well, he's gone. He didn't seem to care about us at all. Minoru's voice is trembling. And it's not just Minoru. That was pretty big shock for all of us. Not only did we not save Miyuki and Kaido, we lost Renamon and the Professor too. Okay, now we're, now we're getting more into the depressive shit. Jesus, I can feel my heart sinking towards some black abyss. My whole body feels heavy. Despite that, I know we can't stop here. There's something we still need to do. We we need to follow Bolt Baltimore. Takuma, can you really mean that? I can and I do. I just can't let it end like this. Bolt Baltimore is going to take on the Master, but no matter who wins. Either way, it could mean terrible things for our world. Exactly. So no matter how scared or sad we might be, we need to get back on our feet. Maybe what I'm saying is wishful thinking. Maybe I'm putting everyone in danger. But I don't want to give up. I don't want all those sacrifices to have been in vain. You're right. We need to save this world. Kaito and the Professor, Haru, Miyuki, they're all gone. But that just means it all comes down to us. Even if we win, we may not be able to go home. Because we lost Miyuki, yeah. And even if we defeat Bold Bautamon, we'll have to take on the Master after that. I'm not gonna lie, we're in some tough fights. It may mean losing more of us, but if we don't do anything, we won't have any world left to live in. So I'm going. What do you say? I'm going too. Minoru. There's somewhere left... There's nowhere left to run. This is our only option, so I'm gonna give it all I got. I'm... I'm going too. Yes, I will fight by your side. Me too. After all, I don't want to die, and I don't want anyone to have to go through this again. You said it, Saki. We need to keep going. If that's what we're doing, I will go as well. I will watch over Minoru's every step. And I'll look out for Aoi, so let's all go save the world. Yeah, you know, I'm going to. I'm sticking with Takuma right to the end. And I want you to be there with me, Agumon. After all, you're my partner, and we've been bound together by fate. That's right, partners. That's right, partners. Sorry, that was a weird, wrong line. Wrong way of saying it. And the fate of the world is in our hands. Now let's go get Bolt Bautamon. Whoa, what is this place? This is really starting to feel epic. Yeah, this place definitely has some feel to it, it's kind of scary. Hey, come say that. You want to get the rest of us scared too? Do you really think it's that bad? 
Just look at the walls. Now I can't help but see human faces on those patterns. Ah, you idiot! Why would you ever say that? Even more scared. Let's try to focus on what's in front of us and keep moving. Or we'll make things worse. Good thinking. Let's try not to pay too much attention to the walls. Okay, this gets us warped too. Hey, guys, check this out. Uh, didn't we just say not to look at the walls? Yeah, I know, but look at this. It's an engraving? It's creepy. Is that what it is? It really is a creepy engraving. It shows children being dropped from high up. Only to be eaten by something waiting for them on the ground. It's like a scene from hell. Question. What is the question, SQ? Takuma! Oh, we're alone? Agumon, are you okay? I'm fine. So is everyone else, too. Look. Oh, no, they're okay. Man, what a weird feeling. It's like I can't tell if I'm sitting down or standing up. What happens to the pink? To Biomon, Biomon is dead. Doesn't exist anymore. Stay on your guard, Minoru. In a place like this, the enemy could be anywhere. That's right. Be careful, Saki. The enemy might suddenly attack from somewhere. Hey, don't scare me like that. Where are we? Wait, is the master here? Old Baltimon? Oh, look over there. There's a fight going on. Pink bird. Do you want to say pink chocobo again, eh? It's Bolt Bautamon, and is that the master? Traitorous fool. Did you really think you could defeat me? Gah! Uh, you are a threat. Uh, yet you, too, are to become my prey. You're pretty strong. <laughs> this befits of the master of this world. Now I will grant you eternal rest. Come, you shall be one with me. <laughs> Fine then. Go on and take me in if you think you can. Maybe I was. What? He, he's... He's letting himself be eaten? Now you are all once more, all mine once more. The power of the maiden and the abundance of knowledge. Yes, yes, it floods through me. The master seems somehow revitalized. Maybe regaining Miki's power by consuming both Baltimore whole. Wait, does that mean he has the power to open the door between worlds? This is bad. We need to defeat him now. Right. He's still worn out from fighting both Baltimore. This is our chance to stop him to save both worlds. Maybe I was. Okay, we just gotta beat the shit out of him ASAP. With, uh... Holy shit, we get a lot of slots, though. That's way more slots than we got with, uh... The Wrathful Route. It's fine. We're gonna beat the ass in one shot. Evolution. Bang Long Mom. Wasn't I gonna do something when I. Yeah. We first do the talking. Oof. Can't hit it yet. Sad. And turn. And... Go into auto while I turn my lights on. Ah! This battle isn't good. Any issue with the lightning. Can 
I hit him from here? Yeah. Uh, we can even one-shot him. Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay. We could have one-shot it if there wasn't a uh, cutscene trigger. Take this! What's happening? Did we do it? I don't know, something's not right. Oh, Baltimore. Ah. I know this feeling. It's the same as when we first met Bold Baltimore. Yeah, we feel it too. It's as if some sort of evil is bubbling up from within the Master. Could could Bold Baltimore is trying to take over the Master from in the inside? Yep. Just like how we did. His power is mine at last. Yes, it's a good thing I took the Maiden. Or I'd never have reached the Master's mind directly to con take control of his party. Why would you even try something so risky? That could have been the end for you. Isn't it obvious? For vengeance! You mean because of Kaido's feelings that were still inside you? Because of them, yes, and something else as well. I have two reasons to seek revenge. Gaito's hatred for the world and my own hatred for the Master. So you actually hated the Master? Obautmon, or should I say Piedmon? The Master deceived me into becoming his puppet, into believing if I did as he said, this world would be saved. Yet all the while we were no more than pawns to him. No, he didn't even hold us in that much regard. Such was the love of our god. Ha! <laughs> The master is no caller of anything. He's nothing but a withering mass of power driven by an immense hatred. To think that the in inhabitants of this world would reverse such a being with no thoughts, no ideals, nothing but an empty drive to preserve its life, it's pathetic. <laughs> what are you blabbing on about? What do you mean, an empty drive to perverse, preserve its life? <laughs> Did I lose you? Well, it's of little consequence. After all, the Master is no more. All that's left of him now is a drive that stirs up the rage that swirls within me. And speaking of what swirls within me, all those who were sacrificed to the Master have now become part of me. I can feel their minds spiraling around the side. Thousands, tens of thousands, of course, that includes your friends too. <laughs> oh, how awful. Kaido Mew. Does that mean Ryong Shuji are within the Master within you too? Yes. Their petty and contemptible thoughts keep spinning on endlessly. Help me, let me live. It hurts. They think only of themselves as they suffer. <laughs> well, I'm about to put an end to their suffering along with both worlds. What? What are you planning? It's very simple. I will use the power of the Maiden. And to do this, opening a gate. You spin around in the chair? No, I don't. Huh? What's that light? That's the same thing Miyuki created. It's the door between worlds. You mean that thing is connected to our world? Well, then you want to go home? Go back home? You need only strap to that door. I won't stop you. After all, both this world and your human one will soon be gone. We're not going to let that happen. Why not? Isn't that what Kaido wished for? A world where people happily trampled upon others for their own ambitions. A world of falsity and deceit built on the sacrifice of others. A world that was always victimizing his sister. Kaido wanted to end that all. You're wrong. Kaito's rage lives on within me, and I will destroy everything. That was his wish. I can feel it even now as his consciousness swirls. And that's not right. That isn't what Kaito wanted. He turned away from that. Yeah, Kaito never hurt anyone because he wanted to. He always, he was always kind of thoughtful, and he hated anything that wasn't right. He only turned to destruction because he thought he needed to get revenge from you. That's why when he heard 
what we had to say, he realized he made a mistake. That's right. Kaito may have made mistakes sometimes, or gone a little carried away. But all he really wanted was to keep Miu safe. He only turned to revenge because it let him avoid facing his failure to protect her. Maybe a part of Kaido did want to bring an end to the world without Miu in it. But even so, we all believe that Kaido was able to let go of that anger. He learned from his mistakes, and was trying to move forward. From that moment, you lost your connection with Kaito, that rage inside you wasn't his. You're just using his pain as an excuse for your own desires. <laughs> well, much as I find this conversation fascinating, it is also pointless. I'm done talking, if you seek to deny my will. If you would impose your own instead. Then you can risk your very existence to try and stop me. I don't like spinning circles, I get dizzy way too fast. Uh, now we're back to only two Digimon? Cringe. Well, that matters, we just send Agumon up front and just blast them again, right? That's how we do things in this world. Did I actually lose HP when starting? What the fudge? Evolution. And turn. I'm just gonna make you move all the way this way. I don't need you guys to attack anyways. Just so that you don't uh, take massive AoE damage, I guess. It's kind of weird that everyone is taking damage. Makes sense though, sort of, I guess. Zukai Moon. Zukai Moon. Zukoi. Zukio Moon. I don't fucking know how to pronounce this. But it's not Tsukaido Moon. There is no Do in that entire name. I keep calling him Tsukaido Moon though. Even though he's not called that. <laughs> Jordi, can you even do. He has a fucking high counter rate, by the way. I just noticed that. Uh, talk. No, not talk. Evolution. Anubis Moon. I might be able to hit him with Anubis Moon. This is also a mobile type, right? And it has this square for hit or square. The plus sign to hit. Oh, that's fine. Evolution. Frozen mist. Critical cringe. It's fine. Agumon is just gonna end this fight right here. How much HP did it? Weak. I'm hitting him with 6k. Blasted. Ultimate Enlightenment Slap. It's impossible. This can't be happening. I lost. I actually lost? No, it can't be. Can't be, can't be, can't be. Oh, but it is. Just take a look at yourself. You're a mess. We did it. We won. Ah. So, will everything go back to normal now? Takuma, hurry. Huh? What's the rush? What do you mean, what's the rush? The door's open. If we hurry, we can go back. Once it closes, we may never have another chance to get home. You're right, we need to get moving. Hold on, you two. Take a closer look at the door. It's getting bigger. It's not closing. If anything, it's getting bigger. Yes, and that's not all. It also begun to solidify. What do you mean, begun to solidify? 
Ah, uh, it's getting sturdier, harder to close. I don't know how to explain it. Anyway, the two worlds are starting to join together. Yeah, that's it. it. Looks like they're starting to fuse. The worlds are fusing? Yes, I have the same impression as Formal. That door is no longer tem a temporary thing. Uh, this is bad, right? Can somebody tell me what's going on here? The door stays open like this. Uh, this world and our world will be connected. Okay, but what does that mean? There will be free travel between worlds. Anyone will be able to go back and forth. I think you're probably right. Most like Agumon will. Ken Megami are going to appear in our world? <laughs> Pathetic. What? Y you're still alive? You saw those murals on your way here, didn't you? Those were diagrams of the two worlds. Which used to be one until they were split apart in ancient times. This world is one new humans abandoned. The world of instinct. World of instinct? What are you even talking about? An abandoned world, a crumbling world fading unnoticed to a, sol to a solitary destruction. I refuse to allow that to happen. <laughs> now the door is open. That's more raving than response, and Bolt Baltimore's eyes look vacant. Can he even still hear us? Or is he too far gone? My vengeance, my rage, was mine alone. It's not mine alone. My many brethren will destroy the worlds. Now struggle to live on in despair. Azilar. Baltimore. What, what do we do if he was telling the truth? You know, about there being others. Well, he'd probably write about the Kun Mogami coming to our world bearing grudges. That's terrible. Isn't there anything we can do? Damn it, so Bolt Baltimore's going to get away with this? What are we supposed to do now? Seriously, what's going to happen? What about our world? What about this world? Takuma? I don't know any more than you do, but I guess if you think about it, both worlds are likely headed to chaos or something. Yes, I think about... Think how surprised we were when we first let, met Labramon and the others. If our world were suddenly flooded with hostile monsters, there'd be a huge panic. No, it might be worse than that. It could change our world completely. But what can we do to stop it? We can't expect everyone to suddenly be able to open their hearts to the Kin Megami. Owie, wait. What? We're not afraid of Agumon or any of the others anymore. We learned what they were like by spending time with them, learning more about them. Eventually we could tell which ones were hostile and which ones weren't. So you're saying, let us go everyone, let's go back to our world. Huh? I don't get it, what are you thinking? Did you think of a way to make things work out? Yeah, simple, we know more about these things than anyone. We're the experts on this world, not to mention Akumon and the others. Which means we're the only ones who can save the world as it's the sense of panic. By teaching the people in our world what we know. You really think we can do it? Well, maybe it's wouldn't maybe it wouldn't be possible if it was just us, but we won't be alone. We have our friends, Agumon, everyone will help. Agumon, everyone, will you help us? What, you want us to help? Yeah, I want you to come with us, work with us side by side as partners. You mean we'd be going to you we'd be going to your world with you? That's right. I think your help is going to be crucial. We'll need you to demonstrate that not everything from this world is hostile. This will be no small task. But considering the circumstances, what choice do we have? If it means helping Aoi, helping all of you, then of course we will. So we'll be able to stay together? I'll be able to keep helping you, Takuma? I'll do it! I'll go with you! Takuma! Uh, I'll go with you. I'll go with you, Takuma, and stay by your side no matter what, Jesus. Thanks, Agumon. Thanks, everyone. Let's use our bonds with each other to save both worlds from chaos. Yeah, we'll stick together until the very end as friends. We can do anything. I don't know if this is going to work out, but it sure seems worth trying. Yes, let's do this. All of us working together. Digimon, friendship is magic. My friends are my power! I mean, what? We walked through the door back to our world. Maybe it wasn't a doorway back to the world we knew. But I wasn't afraid. Together with my friends, and I, my friends and I were going to save this new world. To fight against chaos. Even if that means a different kind of fight than what we've been through so far.
It's been a year since then. This is the, uh, the Harmony ending. After we went back, a lot of things changed. Just as we predicted, Kenomogami began to appear in our world. It happened so quickly, people had no time to learn about them before they were everywhere. This led to total chaos in many countries, and so their arrival reshaped the world. During all this confusion, there were growing numbers. There were growing numbers of children who met Kenomogami they were fated to become partners with, who shared a soul, like Agumon and me. But not everyone found a partner, in fact, most people didn't. The result was a psychological gap between those who had partners and those who didn't. People feared the power of the Kenomogari and took that out on those who had partners. Eventually, people who had partners faced all kinds of abuse, slander, and prejudice. Disorder and disconnection were on the rise. This world is surely headed to, for more turmoil. But that's where we come in. We've each kept doing all we can to show that humans and Kinemogami can get along. Part of that effort is the lab known as the Japanese Institute of Electronic Symbiotes. It provides daily support so people who find partners can live in this world in peace. So it's not dangerous, really? That's right, the Kinemogami, that little one there, is your partner. Treat her kindly, and she'll bring no harm to you or anyone else. But everyone says monsters are dangerous. If one of them likes me, then I must be bad, that's what they say. Q. Don't worry. It's not like that. Your partner is a reflection of what's in your heart. As long as you confront, confront what's in yourself, your partner will use her power for good. How do I do that? You just need to be honest about what you want and how you're feeling. That might be hard to do on your own, but now you've got a partner to help. So don't worry, believe in yourself, trust your partner, and learn to be as one, okay? Yeah, okay, I'll try. That was really something, Aoi. I see you haven't changed a bit. And you mean that as a compliment? What? <laughs> yeah. Although I still think that she can sometimes be a little overbearing. When Diesel enters with a gun, what about family? Uh, let's not talk about family, okay? <laughs> Although I still think that she can sometimes be a little overbearing. <laughs> well, I didn't do much, really. The important part is what comes next. Right. We'll need to keep an eye on her, see how things turn out. Hmm? Providing support for people with partners comes down to lots of what Aoi just did. We take care of kids who've gained this new power and teach them how to use it. But we also put our legitimate information on Kemigami to combat all of the hate. Oh, Takuma! Aoi! Just who I was looking for. We found a new kit with a partner. I'm about to bring them in. You mind if I borrow Minoru and Falcon just in case? Another one? There have been more of them lately. And keep up with all this. Minoru, don't say that. Poor kid is probably terrified, and we're the only ones who can help. Minoru is perfectly aware of that, Aoi. I need to be go on about it, right, Minoru? Of course, I didn't really mean it. I'm happy to give up my day off and keep working hard. Uh-huh, really convincing. Honestly, sometimes I don't know what to do with you, Minoru. But it's fine, I guess. Good luck bringing in the new kid. I hope you get to them before someone gets hurt. I'm on it. Hey, why don't you come to Takuma? Not a bad idea. Could use some fresh air. Oh, you're hopeless. Make sure you get back in time for dinner. So instead, we started all living here for some reason. There's still a lot of problems between humans and Kinemogami. There's a discrimination to deal with, not to mention issues caused by Kinemogami. These things will take time to resolve and people's hearts will need to grow. But even so, I believe. I believe in humans and Kinemogami. I believe if humans and Kenamagami stick together, one day we'll make this work. Believe in yourself. After all, you're one of the chosen kids now. The chosen kids. 
It's good that it starts with the kids, right? And not with the adults. Because adults are dumbasses. And kids... ...can grow. To be honest, I'm also a little worried. Our hope to build a world in which kids with partners can live freely. But if we're not careful, those of us who've gained power through our partners could cause great suffering like Kaido did when he wants to destroy the world. In the new world, we can't let that happen. People will need to live better lives. And we've all kept working, so no one else will ever know the kind of pain Kaido did. But by treating those with power as special, are we making the discrimination worse? What about the concern of those who lack partners? Aren't we disregarding them? Yo, Takuma, let's go. Right, yeah, sorry. I'll be right there. These guys are not 13-year-old uh, SQ. They're probably more around, like, 16, 17. They're in high school, okay? What kind of the future is this world headed towards? I'm scared. I'm worried about how things will turn out. But despite that, I'm going to keep chasing my dream, fighting the only way I know how. With my buddy Agumon, Okina Megami and humans continue to work together and can keep living in this chaotic world. Yes, I'll fight as long as as long and as hard as it takes. A new world order. Just give me a second, guys. It'll be there in a few Baby! There's the platinum. Ugh, that's the first time we actually went for full platinum on stream, right? That's literally the first time. Uh, okay, so I completed the game pretty much. There are still a few things that I'm missing, but the platinum is in. So let's do a little bit of a talk about how I feel about completing this game. So... The first playthrough we had, the game was amazing. It was fun, it was dark, it had this unique thing to him. Uh, the characters are great, I really like the characters, and you really start feeling for the characters. Uh, yeah, just an original one-time playthrough is great. Uh, then we get into the second playthrough, and the second playthrough opens up a whole nother shithole, which is called higher, um, more, more enemies, stronger enemies, but also more characters that you get to learn about. I started obviously with the moral route, which was probably the best ending for a non-truthful route, and the second one was the truthful route, where everyone survived, uh, we actually opened the portal again, and the worlds became one again. And there was no, there was not such a giant ass conflict as there is now between people that uh, got partners and the ones that didn't. So that that ending was great as well. Now, not only that, but you get to learn who Ryo and Shuji are, because. When you first start the game, and you go through this, you most likely will not save Ryo or Shuji. And when you do not save these two, the, it just goes downhill fast. Like, Ryo... <laughs> Ryo loses his shit, like, no fucking way. He, fo he starts uh, uh, just spamming the talk of mommy, mommy, mommy. And Shuji just becomes an abusive piece of shit and ends up getting obviously murdered uh, by Lokmon. But when you get to know them, after you save them, they start to grow as characters. You start to know their characteristics a bit better. And you get, like, of course, they have their issues, but they're not as insane as they looked at the front. They actually grow through their issues. Uh, Ryo is still scared. He's still a person that is easily scared. But he steps through the fear and decides to actually fight. Uh, Shuji starts to learn that uh, the way he saw leadership, the fact that his father did leadership the way he did, and that he had to show 
that he could be capable to his father, he let that part of him go, right? He let... Uh, he decided to be his own man. He didn't want to uh, become like his brother or like his father anymore. He became his own person. Now, Aoi, uh, Saki, Minoru, uh, Kaito, Miyu, Renamon, Haru, Miyuki, they all had their own issues. And through that is like where we get into playthrough 3 and 4. You don't really get to see what their issues were originally. You get, you get like the, the top layer of their issues. But once you go into their bad end, for me, for Mew and Kaito, it was the Harmony route. You start to see, like, okay, this is where their issues begin. This is why they have their issues. And obviously in the good ending and in the best ending, you see them grow so much as, like, uh, characters. Which is one of the reasons why I kind of regret playing, doing playthrough 1 on the Google and playthrough 2 truthful. Honestly, I didn't want to do truthful as the second playthrough. Uh, but I didn't realize that saving Ryo and Shuji would force you into the truthful ending. What I read at that point, before like making the decision of the second playthrough, was that uh, if you go Harmony route, or if you go uh, Wrathful route, there are always two people that are forced to die. So you can't get into the truthful route. But that was not the case. The truthful route is decided before uh, you actually like uh, go into the choice decision of going Harmony or uh, Wrathful due to Ryo and Shuji surviving. So here comes my little bit of issue and this is probably the issue of how I play through this game. I had to go through this game four times. Now, technically speaking, you do not have to go through the games, uh, to the game four times. Technically, you only have to do three times. And here's the reasoning. The first playthrough, if you spend your karma in such a way that all three paths are unlocked, you make an extra save at the path branching, and instead of, uh, like, removing that save, you just make a new save file when you choose the path that you're going to take. This obviously means that your Digimon are not going to overlevel, which for some people is great. That way actually keeps the game challenging because my issue at some point with battling was that it became too easy. I could one-shot everything. I just had to throw Agumon at them and they were dead. <clears throat> that, is, that is the only issue that you then get. The second issue with that is that you do not get every evolution on Agumon's path, which technically is not an issue. Like, if you play it right, you will always end up with... Well, I don't necessarily know how that works, because your Mega is after the path cho choice, but you could put it in such a way that you always get War Greymon, and War Greymon is technically the best out of uh, all three paths. At least that is my opinion. Um, but yeah, that would mean that you don't get like the extra XP, extra resources. You'll also miss all... Um, well, you can technically get them, but you won't have them on one save file. The perceived memories, which are those stories that if you get all of them, you get a special ability at the end. Uh, so that is kind of the thing. I obviously want to have every evolution of Agumon, which led me to have to play through the game four times. And I really, really, really feel really bad about it because the, the pre-path choices are not as different from each other as uh, the truthful path because the truthful path actually opens up an entire story mode and is actually really great obviously the endings the path choices and see what happens to everyone that is really insane i really like that part though 
Uh, but here we come to the point where the battles actually just ruin the rest of the game. Like, at the start, when you start playing the game, the battles are great, because you're low level, you have to figure out how to deal with everything nicely without dying, and I played on hard mode. Again, I played on hard mode, so uh, I got the biggest challenge out of it I could have gotten. But my but the issue was when you hit playthrough four, uh, three and four, is that it's just the same battles over and over again, and there really isn't much to do because if you play the truthful ending as your second playthrough, you get Fang Longmon, and Fang Longmon obliterates everything. Like it's just. It's just a slow grind at that point. The battles are not fun. So that is my one issue. Those are my few issues that I have while playing through the game for completion. This does not inflict on the story that this game tells. Like, I love it. All the characters were great. Uh, even Ryo and Shuji were actually great once you saved them. I, like, hated them at start. Uh... Yeah, the progress the game takes is just amazing, and the story is great, and all the endings are kinda awesome, and they have their own twist to it. Like I said in the third playthrough ending, I think the moral ending is the canon ending. If we look at it from a, a reboot setting, because that is the ending where the professor actually is like... ...saying that the Kato Megami become Digimon, right? Which is the title of this game. And we never hear the term Digimon come back ever again. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I've already said everything there is about this game. If you want to play it, I would recommend playing through the game at least twice to get the truthful ending and to get either one of your three endings. Uh, personally, if you want the best feeling, you go for the moral ending, but if you want, like, uh, to get hit in the guts a few more times than normally, then I would go for either Wrathful or Harmony. Wrathful is probably the best one if you like getting hit in the nuts and hurt all the time, and Harmony if you want to get hurt, but not as much. <laughs> yeah, that that's probably uh, how I would put it. Uh, when it comes, yeah, when it comes to everything else, the game is fine. There are some issues here and there with translations and text errors and whatever. But that doesn't, like, and a few PNGs that are, like, very badly made. But that's it. There's literally, this game is just fantastic. And people that are more patient than I am will probably enjoy going through the game four times. And actually grabbing everything. Uh... I'm just not that patient, and I was kind of at the end of my endurance when it came to actually playing the game. Not to, like, getting to know the story and the characters and whatever, that was just great. I love that. That's the thing that kept bringing me back. Like, what are the changes between the routes? But it's a very slow game. Uh, that you can skip through dialogue is not done well enough two points that I feel like, yo, we can uh, just play through the game and skip through things to get to the separate endings. That's just not uh, a very well way of playing this game. In all honesty, you should play this game, the first ending, and then get the truthful ending, and then like half a year later play through the game again on to get a different ending. Uh, that is my view on how you should probably play this game. But because I wanted the Platinum, obviously I did not do that. It's because I'm a fucking dumbass and I like Platinum trophies for whatever reason. It's not like I can put them on my wall here or something. Um. So yeah, that's it. <clears throat> uh, I'd like to thank all of you who watch this on YouTube and everything. And uh, I don't think I'm going to do such a long ass video thing anymore to get all the endings because it really stressed me out and I couldn't, didn't feel like I could do anything else between, like, completing this. So, um, yeah. Don't know what we're playing next yet. Uh, I have a few games. 
vaults and download it, and we still need to go through a few different routes with Fire Emblem Warriors. Oh, but that's it. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all very much for watching. Until the very next time, sweet dreams. Adios.